you meet and greet. Yeah. So anyway, we got that. We've got um, yep. the Bug and Bud Festival. Was that right? Bug and Bud, yeah. Bug and Bud. Yep, you, bug said, and it bud. Right. you said it right this time. Okay, good. I get everything. The bug everything. comes before the buds. The bug comes before the buds. That's right. Yeah. You're right. The bug does come before the buds. Are you ready, Linda? Yeah, are you? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So, well, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you have a good week? Uh, yeah, good week. Busy week. Busy, yeah. I would yeah. say busy. Yep. That's mm -hmm. a typical week. That's a typical week, busy, yeah. Busy, yep. And I like yep. when they're good and busy. Uh, how's business uh, at Wall Service Center? Uh, we are busy at Wall Service Center, uh, okay. but we're always looking for more. More. We're not satisfied. Never. With just, you know, what we yep. have. So. Well, that's a good thing. Because yeah. you're innovative, you're always thinking of new things, you're always wanting to provide more services. More services, exactly. Do better, yep. make more. Um, yep. How's the tire business? Uh, good. Yeah, we're selling a lot of tires. Um, you know, we're do most people buy four? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Most people do buy four. Um, you know, and and some people may want to buy two. And sometimes there there's no reason to buy four. Right. But you know, when somebody wants to buy two, we kind of explain why you should. There's buy There's a ten four. foot difference between the front and the exactly, back. Exactly. Yeah. They've almost all been the same distance. Yep. And uh, so, but you know, sometimes it's a budget thing, and they say, "I've got enough money for two right now." Right. And is or two the, better than none? Right. Yes, or two, wherever they were getting their work done, done, never paid attention to their front tires. Right. Being all choppy, never yeah. rotated them or we anything. We see that a lot. I mean, we had a car in there the other day that the steel belts were showing on because really? the front end, yeah, was so. Was so far off, so we ended up replacing a whole bunch of front end parts on it to, wow. to get it, and now they need to buy tires uh, for that. So. Were they in for an oil change originally? Um, I'm not sure on that. They okay. might have been. Yeah, because we do spot those things on oil. Right, that's what. Because there are places, and and no disrespect to anybody. I mean, there are places that simply change your oil. You yeah, pull in for an oil change, and you get an oil change. And, and Correct. Pull the plug. And They're not in, but. glancing at your front end parts. They're not glancing at yep. anything else. They're not measuring the depth of the tread on your tires or your brake pads your brake or pad, whatever. Yeah, right. So, but we're and, doing all those things at Wall Service Center. Right. Just as an added value bonus. Well, because you know we feel that if you're bringing your car to us, you're asking us to look things over and saying, you know, I need maintenance done on my car, and mm -hmm. you know, while it's here, let's take a look at things and. And see, you know, we don't give anybody a high pressure sales or right. anything like that, but uh, we do we do want to let you know that if you have something condition. That's dangerous or you know that could save you money or cost you money in the long run, uh, yeah. we want to let you know about it or leave you stranded or leave you stranded exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and then we've got another thing for okay. if that does happen. Yes. If you say I don't want to fix anything. Mm -hmm. Just change the oil. We're still send me on my you, way. We're still going to hand you free roadside assistance for one year. What do you give them? A little card, PCW? like a business yeah, card? Yeah, we got a little these little uh, cards that are uh, they're they're not like business cards, doctor. They're actually, like a plastic, like a credit card. Oh, okay, card. okay. Yeah, so they're heavy duty. They'll hold up in your wallet or in your glove box or wherever you want to put it. Um, and uh, it's got our number on it. But more importantly, it's got the AC Delco uh, free roadside assistance number right. on it. Right. And uh, that's that's the important part. I agree. So, and that means. Oh, I hear the things coming. Right. But anyway, it just is an added together. bonus of dealing at Wall Service Center in Milford. Exactly, exactly. All right. So, all right Jim, Thank I'll you, Colin. You okay. Jim Weller here, and I was just chatting with Colin Walls, Wall Service Center. And welcome to my Delaware 105.9 audience. This is a show called Weller Does Delmarva. Uh, we are on two radio stations now. We are also on TV, TV Delmarva. And uh, we are right here in Dewey Beach. Um, what's that, Denise? I'm not sure, so I don't know. Anyway, um, I just want to say that if you want to come on over, Denise, you can. I'm going to do a couple of commercial segments, but in the meantime, let me explain the show. This show is called Weller Does Del Marva. Okay, we do it every Saturday. I've been doing it now over ten years. Over ten years, our ten year anniversary was back um, on eight twenty six. So anyway, it's a live show, and we're sitting right inside the uh, Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach. And uh, what do you got over there? A hot cup of tea. Yes. Hot cup of tea. So anyway, we're sitting right inside the Sunrise Restaurant, and you are welcome. We're here every Saturday till May 18th, and if you'd like to come and hang out with us and join us and have breakfast or something like that, you can do that, okay? You can also watch on two on, on one TV station, two radio stations you can listen. You can watch on YouTube, Facebook, and so on and so forth. So let me do a quick commercial, and then we'll get you all turned on and ready to go, Denise. Okay. All right? All right. Dry zone. Dry zone, dry zone, dry zone. 
Dry Zone is your crawl space encapsulation headquarters, okay? So uh, first of all, this is a sponsor segment, and they do crawl space encapsulation. They also help with, help with foundation repair. If your foundation is failing and you need some help with that, they can help with that. If you got a damp or leaky uh, basement, they can help you with that. If you want to kind of fix up your garage with a new floor coating and some other things, um, you can also do that through their sister division called Hello Garage. So they have a lot of things going on. They're always hiring people. If you're looking for a career change or a new job or something like that, um, you can always, you know, apply at Dry Zone. They are always hiring. So it's Dry Zone and Hello Garage, one company or two companies in one building, one location. Good people. They uh, do a good job. They have a website full of all kinds of information, a lot of testimonials and things like that. So look them up at DryZone.com or Hello Garage, either one on the web or also on the Facebook, maybe like both their Facebook pages. They have lots of tips and things they tell you. We've had a lot of rain lately, and a lot of people's crawl spaces probably flooded. And uh, then mil mildew and mold start growing, and uh, who knows what happens next. So Dry Zone, Hello Garage. What's the phone number, Jim? 302-684-5034. 684-5034. Dial it in that order all right denise you're here i am here all right uh snuggle right up to that so well, i can hear you loud and clear okay. oh we have to take a picture first yeah. i forgot all about that here we go oh, got it okay. all right are you there okay I'm, I'm ready no i'm just checking with you okay all right so denise weller oh you've got notes I today have notes i have lots to talk about okay go okay. ahead <laughs> <laughs> I oh, thought we were right. winging it. Oh, well, first of all, um, Lewis Tulip Festival is going on. Okay. So it started in the end. Oh. Oh, oh, it started oh. in the end of March, and um, it's going on. I think for another week or so. Really? Well, the tulips are in their prime. Is that where you're going today? Well, it's just kind of driving around there. I mean, you can do walking tours. They have things going on, like in the Zwellendale Museum and stuff. But um, I'm just going to drive. Have you been through. before? I've drove through and seen okay. all the tulips. Okay. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. All also, right. this is the that's time today. Of year. That's today. Well, that's what I'm doing today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Since I'm down here. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty. Okay. If the wind and the rain hadn't taken them out, I don't know. Anyway, also, <laughs> Blob Fest is coming up. Oh, Blob Fest. We talked about this a year ago, saying we were going to go. Okay. It's in Phoenixville, PA. Okay. And it's not coming until July 14th to 16th, but you have to order tickets for stuff now because it sells out like in really? the first day or so. Is this where they film the movie? The Blob. The Blob. Or, in the movie theater where they it all starts come coming out the door, out. the yes, blob. Yes. Okay, I've never seen it before. Yeah, where they have movies going in, going on all weekend long. In that movie theater. Yes. Okay. And um, then they have like a, um, they have science fiction movies. They have the blob showing. They have a street fair. They have oh. a, a drive-in tour. Of course, they have the big famous run-out scene where they're all running out of the movie, out of the movie theater, screaming. So we were going to go. The whole thing is we were going to go. Right. And I started looking at hotels, and you can get plenty of hotels in the area, but I just don't feel like going now. Well, now she doesn't I don't feel, feel like, like going. it. She doesn't feel like because it. Because it's all weekend. Every night, every day, there's something different. So you kind of want to take it all in. I was going to do the 5K run or, or okay. whatever, 10K. But I'm thinking, you know, you got three days worth of hotels and hanging out in Phoenixville, PA, though it sounds wonderful. I just don't feel like it. It's obvious that you and I spend differently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate well, anyway, you. Anyway, so if you, you let me know if you want to do it. Okay. I'll tag along. But I'm, okay. I'm not asking you to do Blob it. Blob Fest in July. Yes, their 25th anniversary. Okay. Yeah. I may want to do it, but we'll see. Okay. 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 All right. What else you got there? Um, nothing. I just, around the house, I'm waiting to cut my grass. You know, I haven't cut it yet. Okay. And um, it's, it rains every time when I'm able to cut it. Mm -hmm. We have the rain. But I'm sure a lot of people are going through the same right. thing. I think it's about time to cut it rain or shine. Yeah. <laughs> Be out there rutting up the yard. But I am fixing up the inside of the house yes, a lot. Yes, you are. Yeah. I'm cutting the Rearrange the, the living room. Decluttering. Yeah. You I are. did two rooms. You did. I did. Um, the TV or, room. TV room. The pool table room. And what I do, I'm taking stuff out that I don't mm -hmm. need anymore. So, mm -hmm. um, Just do it with your stuff. Yeah. Our stuff. Uh, yeah. Our house was never cluttery and full, but I, I like the airy look now. You, you know do. what I mean? So anyway. But I wouldn't get rid of it. Like, you're getting rid of this because stuff. Because I want it done. I, I would just, just put it, it in done. containers and no, put it in another building we own and I'm deal with it another day. I'm not going to store it. I'm going to okay. say bye-bye to it. All right. 
that's about it. That's all I got going on. We had a good day yesterday. Yes, it was Linda's we birthday. We took the day off and gave Linda the most valuable gift we could give her, <laughs> our time. Yeah. Linda Bosco celebrated, what, 45, 47 something years like old, that. something yeah. like that, yeah. her birthday yesterday. And we took her, we took her property shopping at Hooper's Island. Yeah. Waterfront property everywhere. Well, she had never been. It was like me. I had never been until a couple years ago. That's true. I've heard of Hooper's Island. But we ate at a restaurant. Oh, yeah. And the Crab Imperial. What did you have? A it crab was award-winning. Yes. Award-winning. Yeah. She yep. And it used to be the school on the island. Yeah. And then it had a roller skating rink inside yeah. of it. And now it's a restaurant. And Old salt. But it's been there, what, 40-some years, yeah. you said. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. Old salt. It was real good. Old salt. What did I say? I, I don't know. I think anyway, that's what you said. okay, but anyway, old salties. Um, yeah. We could. I'm ready to go back sometime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of a trek back. Then. It was, and then we found a house for sale. Linda looked it up. Yeah, we were all guessing how much it would. Nine hundred square feet. Yeah. Completely surrounded with water. Less than an acre of land. Right. How much was it? Two sixty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Yep. So, I mean, completely. Like, I don't even know where you were. And it was so neat. We saw another one where a person built a wooden dock or deck that they drove their car up on to get it out of the water. Oh, Terry's here, everybody. Here comes Terry. Here comes Terry all the way from Seaford. Yeah. Isn't but that I'm so sure nice? if you were raised there or you were a, you're a woman. Oh, there's no doubt. You would love it. You know? Right. There's no doubt. Yeah. So You're anyway, attention to Terry instead of me. Okay, no okay. problem. <laughs> You're out there waving. He's going to be coming in. He is going to be coming in. So you turned us on to Hooper's Island a year or two ago. Yes, I did. And it was a very good day yesterday. Yeah, and Blackwater Refuge. Yep, that was good too. Yeah, there wasn't much to see there. Them eagles. <laughs> yeah, and the turtles. And the turtles. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah, and the, then the person that was blocking the exit. Yeah, that was it. That was pretty good. Yeah. They're all out there, you know, blocking it, taking pictures, not realizing we want to leave. Right. You but know. the woman at the information center said it was going to be late because the birds haven't come. The winter right. birds have left and the spring or summer birds have not yep. come yet. I got a nice hat there. Yes, you did. I you found like an extra, hats. extra large. Yeah. yeah, and that's rare to find it. Very extra. rare. So you Very better rare. get it when you see it. Right, and I got to pay sales tax on that hat. Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. So anything else going on? No, we're going that's to, it. We're taking a road trip tomorrow? Yes, with the kids. Yeah, we're taking the ferry. Oh, I can't say where we're going. Well, we're going to Wildwood. Right. I can't say the specific location. No. We're going okay. to look at a building that houses a radio station. Yeah, and we're also okay. going to the Cape May Zoo. Cape May Zoo. We're going to have lunch somewhere. We're going to look for a house to buy. We're going to walk the boardwalk. Walk the boardwalk. And then we're going to see other things. And look around. Yeah. All right. <laughs> going to see a storm shelter. The whole shelter. family. Yeah, the whole yeah. family's going. So All it right. should be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. All right. Anything else going on? No, are our tickets ordered? Do you know? Uh, yeah, oh, we got, uh, yeah, it's all handled. And do you have to come back the time you tell them, or can we take any boat? Uh, uh You got six o'clock. That's it. Is that it? That's it. So and we're gonna leave at seven and come back at six. Something like that. That's yeah. That's a long day. Long day. Okay, we. Can well, if you get to the ferry early, you could just wait, but you can't get on. We're on the six o'clock ferry to come home. And you have okay. That's it. No wow. other choice or drive. Isn't that something so, how it's changed? You used to never organized. have to order it. You used to yeah. could just drive up and you yeah. get in line and that'd yeah. be all you had to do. I think it's become popular. I know. So, all right. I believe the others are here somewhere yes, in the I room. Will go get okay. Them. okay. All right. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. It was a good day yesterday. Yeah, well, she organized it, so I'll give her all the credit. All right, I'll be there cleaning and care. Dawn Kennedy. Dawn Kennedy. I just want to let you know. That um, I just want to let you know that she does a good job if you need some house cleaning done, if you want your house cleaned or something like that. So it, it's called I'll Be There Cleaning and Care. What does she do? She cleans houses, inside houses. She cleans the inside of campers and motorhomes, Airbnbs, VRBOs. She does a lot of different things. So I'm just letting you know that if you need something cleaned, if you do, uh, you give Dawn a call. If you are looking for a good gift certificate for somebody, you know, like you've got an event coming up and you're like, what's the the perfect gift to get get them a gift certificate to have their house clean what a great gift so anyway she's very detail oriented it's her and her team she's pretty much on the scene for all jobs so if you need something clean she'll give you a free estimate or she'll just do the job for you she can do it weekly monthly quarterly yearly whatever you want to do so it's called i'll be there cleaning and care give her a call tell her i sent you um, her phone number is 302 362 
7064. That's 362 7064. I'll be there cleaning and care. I'll be there cleaning and care. And uh, she does give discounts to first responders, to seniors, and military. All right. So if you have any questions, give Dawn a call. Check out her Facebook page. Like that if you would. And she'll do a good job for you. I'll be there cleaning and care. If you want to get your house cleaned up, give her a call. All right, what is next? What is next? What is next? Let me think. All right, we've got a guest um, that is coming. I think we're going to talk about the Woodbridge Youth Football at some point here this morning. So anyway, um, I just don't know. That's not them in the corner either, right? Okay. All right, so let's talk about Linda Bosco's birthday. Linda Bosco had a birthday yesterday. And um, so we took her and uh, drove her all around, and uh, we had a good time. So happy birthday to Linda. A lot of people don't even know who Linda is. It is Jim Bosco's better half, and um, she takes pictures here for us. Did you want to say hi, Linda, so everybody can see you this morning? Linda loves attention, and if you don't know what to get her, she loves gift cards to Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville, okay? Big ones, too. In other words, you know, one big enough for her to buy a trailer. Linda, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I had a great time. Are you all rested up? I think, no, I think I need a little more rest. <laughs> Poor Linda and Jim. They had to overhear so much business throughout the day. I was thinking, you know. It was awful, so you, I apologize. Yeah, no, you guys so. have no idea how much that meant to me. Well, it, okay. It was, it, it, you two are the busiest people. Oh, and we're you not. took the day. I know busier people. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sacrifice. Right. Um, we want, it was kind of like we wanted to do it. We wanted to give you all we got to give you, which is our time. I know. I went and home, we did good. I went home last night, and I thought about it. I started crying. I felt oh, come so on good. now. And I was like, they were so sweet to me. And I, well, it, we, just, we, I love you guys. Right. And we love you, and we wanted to be nice to you. And it's... It's you're out always, of our character. You're always <laughs> nice. You're always nice. And it's and uh, it's really fascinating to watch you work. What's that mean? I mean, to do to drive, to follow the map and still to take negotiate the calls. deals on trailers. <laughs> right. right? <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. You multitask really well. I do. You multitask like a woman. If you were to just look at my phone and text log, you would get tired. Is that right? And yes. your emails and yeah. your. Uh, when people look at my phone and they see these little icons here and it says, uh, you know, emails 4,627 and uh, text messages 277, you know, people are like, oh, that sounds like what? a lot. Well, when I look at my friends' phones, Sometimes they got bigger numbers than I do. It's a contest oh, to see I, how many texts you haven't answered. So anyway, well, we had a good time. You and Jim were well behaved. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, you didn't need any more than normal bathroom stops. I appreciate that. Yeah, no. Right. So it was good. <laughs> and, we had and, a real good time. And we also had a lady in the booth behind us. Her name oh, was yeah. Mary. Yep. The lady told She's us. She's a ghost. That, yeah. And and the Linda really seemed salties. to chime in on that story. She liked that story. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yep. And at one so. point, she was going yeah. on the booth. Right. So. so anyway, we had a good time. Wasn't the food great? It was wonderful. It We're was, talking about so. going back. It is quite Are a drive. You really? Yep. Yep. So bring we'll your bring your boots in case you need them. <laughs> we'll All go right. when it's really dry. Really dry. What I don't I know think? if it's ever really dry on Hooper's Island, but mm. we had a good time. And yeah. riding through the refuge and seeing the turtles and seeing those intricate those. carvings on those tree limbs and everything. Um, it was great. They, the guys swore it was a bird. Right. On a, and it was a piece of It was of carved. Wood. It was carved it was, into the wood. It was the way the wood was shaped. And they kept and saying, it look, like, it's got a wing. And I'm right. like, no, it's not. It's you not were buying it for a while. <laughs> 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 well, I took a picture of it, but oh, and then I realized, my. no, it's just a stick. We had a good time. Yes. Thank so, you. And I thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Well, we're going to leave you, okay? okay? I'm going to leave you. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. All right. So that's Linda Bosco. She helps the show every week, her and Jim. Jim gives out little tickets for people to win something after the show. And uh, Linda takes pictures and does post. And we have a Wednesday show, and we have this show. And we say thank you to Linda Bosco. So, Denise, you have checked the entire restaurant, correct? All right. I'm going to take your word for it. Anybody in here want to talk about the Woodbridge? What's that? Okay. Little youth football. All right. What were you saying? Okay. 
Okay. All right, Peninsula Chiropractic Center. All right, go ahead then. We'll do it that, that now. Peninsula Chiropractic Center is another sponsor of the show, another sponsor of the show. And we want to say thank you to Dr. T and Dr. Bud. My goodness, I, when I go there, I feel better instantly. So in other words, I'm very happy with them. Denise just got shunned. So anyway, I just want to say uh, Peninsula Chiropractic Center uh, does a great job for me, in other words, and I'm very happy. So if you need chiropractic care, like if you're listening, you say, you know, I've never in my life been to a chiropractor. That's okay. They take people that have never, ever been to a chiropractor because once you go, you're going to want to go every month or two just for a checkup. So I go, whether it's my wrists, knees, hips, shoulders or neck okay or i just want some good friendly upbeat conversation i love peninsula chiropractic center they accept most insurances it's dr t and dr bud two different people they do a fantastic job you'll be in the lobby and and, and people will say oh i've been going here 10 years 20 years 15 years oh my goodness i had this this or i was in a car accident or something it's just those stories are just really great they get good results they're good people 302 is the phone number 302 Six two nine four three four four. That's three zero two six two nine forty three forty four. Peninsula Cairo Center dot com on the web. And yes, they are very active on the Facebook. Jimmy Weller is going to be on in a few minutes, um, and we're going to talk about Wellers in Bridgeville. We've had a really rainy, dreary week, but we've had a really good week as far as selling trailers. So if you need a trailer. We're going to talk about trailers and sheds and carports and repairs and maintenance and everything when Jimmy gets on, okay? Another good sponsor of the show is L&W Insurance, okay? It's not Ellen. It's not Ellen. It's L. The letter's L&W Insurance, okay? And uh, they're all over. They're in Greenville. They're actually in Ocean View, and they're actually in Dover. So I love dealing with them. They're my insurance people. This is a sponsor segment. And whether you need car insurance health insurance, life insurance, if you own a business and you need liability insurance or you own a billboard business and you want the billboards insured or you have a radio or a media show and you need insurance for that, whatever you need insurance for, they will get you adequately insured. The more I deal with them, the more I realize they ask lots of questions. And I now know why, because if you don't get the right insurance, when you need it is when you get an attitude. You say, man, I thought I had insurance for that. So anyway, bottom line is, if you need insurance, it's L&W Insurance. Phone number 302-856-7828. Now that's the phone number, 302-856-7828. LWinsurance.com on the web. Been in business now, serving our community over 90 years, all right? So good people. Like their Facebook page, too, if you would. Like I say, Weller's Utility Trailers is going to be open today. You know what else is going on today? This is a big deal. This is a big deal. There's uh, a couple things, but this one here is Bounce for Autism, okay? Denise and I, we should go. For $8, you get a wristband. You can bounce all you want. I can bounce all I want. Uh, from noon to five, okay? There's like 15 different inflatables. Uh, if you want some food, you can go inside and order food from Tony's Pizza because that's right where it's at, Tony's Pizza, right there in Bridgeville, Delaware. This is a fundraiser for autism. If you can't go or don't want to go or don't feel like going, stop by Tony's Pizza right now and buy some uh, wristbands. They're only 8 bucks. All the money goes to the Autism Society, so you could buy a couple wristbands and just say, look, the next two people that come in, give them to them. In other words, give them to them at no charge or something like that. So if you want to sponsor somebody else's wristband, you can do that, all right? So anyway, or you can get them and take them with you and go give them out. But that's today only, Bounce for Autism. Bounce for Autism, okay, is the name of it, all right? Now, we're sitting right inside, right inside. I mean, we are right inside The Sunrise Restaurant. Okay. The Sunrise Restaurant is where we're at. The crowd is forming. I do want to say that if there's... Is there anybody in the room that wants to talk for a minute or two on the show? Sir, over in the corner. I don't know if he wants to. Anyway, we are looking for a guest. If there's somebody who wants to join us, um, feel free to do so. But in the meantime, I want to say something. I want to say that we are looking for a new home 
for this show. So we do the show on Saturday mornings from 7 to 9. We do the show on Saturday mornings from 7 to 9, okay? If you would like to host the show, if you would, you can... um, what can I say? You can get up with me, all right? So we're for hire. It's not free. You do pay us to be there. We're going to bring you a crowd of people every Saturday morning. So preferably a restaurant is where it should be. Preferably a restaurant. And, um, you know, we're going to bring people. They're going to hang out. They're going to eat food. They're going to enjoy breakfast. And they're going to get to meet new friends and network and, 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 and so on. So if you are listening and you own a business and you would like to have us if you would like to have us do the show at your business, we would love to. We would love to, okay? It's that simple. So give me a call, 302-542-9157. That's 302-542-9157, and let's talk about it. I'll tell you what it costs. I'll tell you what it involves. It involves a lot of radio and TV ads promoting the location throughout the week. Um, You get like 30 ads on two separate radio stations and about 30 ads on TV Delmarva and some billboard advertising. You get a lot of advertising promoting the location if you would like to join us sometime. All right. So give me a call, 302-542-9157, or if you ever want to be on the show. So, again, 302-542-9157, okay? Uh, the restaurant is really filling up. Jimmy's here. We're going to talk to him after Colin, after 7.30. Um, we're going to give away some gift cards to Vanderwins later on in the show. We're probably going to give away some Chick-fil-A gift cards, too, and some gift cards to T.S. Smith Orchard Point Market for, like, six free apple cider donuts, Okay. Them things are tasty. I go in in the morning, I get a sandwich or something like that, and they're all steaming over there, you know, because they're, they're, they're making them. You know, they're making them and baking them. So, anyway, that's T.S. Smith Orchard Point Market. We're going to give you a coupon for six donuts here in a little while. Okay, I hear the music. We're taking a break. We're taking a break. We're taking a break. We'll be right back from Delaware 105.9. That audience, switch over to Jim Weller's Facebook page right now. All right, I am watching the traffic is coming and going, and wow, the place is really hopping here this morning. The sun is shining. People love that. I think it's because it's not raining right this minute, everybody. Hallelujah. It's not raining right this minute, all right? Terry, you doing all right over there? Good, 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 good. So anyway, I'm going to be joined by Colin Walls. No, I'm going to talk about TV Delmarva. TV Delmarva is Colin's TV station, and uh, it's a local over-the-air TV station called TV Delmarva. But for those that have a Roku device or a Roku TV, you can also download the channel. And I want to remind you that um, we've got a live broadcast coming up at the uh, Bug and Bud Festival for our radio station, which is 1023 1023 Fine Day Radio, okay? WNJD 102.3 Radio. And we are so excited. We bought a radio station and we're very happy. Colin and I bought this thing. We ain't never worked so hard in a long time, but we got it up and running. It's on the air. We got advertisers. We got we do a show on Wednesdays at the Golden Eagle Diner from 10 to noon called Jim Weller Live. We do this show on Saturday mornings. We have a lot going on on Fine Day Radio, and there's different shows all day and night. It's 24-7. So if you have not downloaded our app for Fine Day Radio, just go to the App Store, and it's Fine Day Radio. Just find the app, download it, and um, download it, and um, you are good to go. It's free. It's free. You also can um, listen to Fine Day Radio at findayradio.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. If you have not liked our Facebook page, please do so because uh, right now you literally could be watching this show on Fine Day Radio's Facebook page, watching it and listening to it. So we have a sizable audience. We have a lot of fun and we promote a lot of different things and you are invited to be part of the action. If you own a business and you say, I'd like to possibly advertise with you guys, well, we would like to possibly allow you to advertise with us. So anyway, um, I just want to let you know that um, all you got to do is give me a call. I'll tell you about our package. It's only 488 bucks a month, and you get 60 ads, less than $9 an ad. It's unbelievable. 
Colin, you doing okay? I'm doing all right now. All right. Yeah. So we've got, got some fixed back up there. Technical we did have a problem for sure. We did. Oh, we did really oh, have yeah. a problem. Yeah, okay. I've been working on it since the last time I was up here. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, so I had all to right. get a whole new mixer out. Oh my gosh. I'm yeah. glad we had another mixer with yeah. us. Okay. Yep. So anyway. So we're good now. We're okay. on the air everywhere now. Okay. Yep. All right, so we were talking about... Welcome to our WNJD audience. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Welcome we to them. Okay. We weren't on there. Okay. We were All on right. the stream, but it wasn't on the... Uh, over the over air. Over the air, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know... Well, I got to say, but anyway, there's it's, something obviously. It is amazing there. how you keep all of it going because we're on yeah. Facebook, we're on YouTube, yep. we're on over the air, we're on, on actually radio. two radio we're on stations, two radio stations over the air. and then TV. Yeah, TV Delmarva. And on YouTube, 14. Facebook, yep. everything. So yeah, there's kind of cool. A lot there. So there's a lot of yeah. moving parts. For sure. Well, thank you very anyway, much. We are uh, we're back. So uh, yeah, welcome. And uh, you are making a trip over to Wildwood this tomorrow. Weekend. Tomorrow. Okay. All Can't right, believe good. it. Good. Yeah, I'm going to give them the tour. Give them the studio tour. Right. There. Yeah. Well, trying to get everybody. Trying to get my family excited about this radio station. In other words, I'm going to show them our opulent studios. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> Well, we, don't have any, the, we don't have a studio over <coughs> there. We don't. As of right now. I'm right. not saying we never will, but right. we, as of right now, our studio is over here in Georgetown, Delaware. It is. It's so. amazing. It is, yeah. So, But so. we do broadcast to uh, Wild South Jersey Wood. and coastal Delaware. Right. Yep. Right, 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 right. So a pretty big signal, actually. It okay. you know, goes across the bay really well. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It has that ripple effect. Yeah. <laughs> come a lot of waves. people. That's why they call them radio waves. Radio waves. Yeah, That's right. The they come across the water. All right, from the Jersey Shore to the Delaware Shore. Is that about oh, right? The beaches. To the beaches, okay. From the Jersey Shore to the Delaware beaches. You need to listen more. Oh, we I do. say that at the top of the I hour. Do. Uh, we listened yesterday. <laughs> okay. And uh, everybody was impressed how well it came in and everything, you know. Oh, yeah? So, yep, yeah. Where, where so, were you yesterday? Um, on the Shinkatig? overside of, yeah, yeah. No, not Shinkatig. <laughs> we were over um, Hooper's Island Way. Were you really? Yeah. Cambridge Easton. I don't remember where. You were but, listening to the stream. No, actually, we were you listening on the air. Here? Yeah, I don't, they'll tell you exactly where we were. Really? But um, they were impressed. They were impressed the other day Wow. also and how they could get it so clear compared to another station they like to listen to. Yeah, yeah. So Ours um, is definitely louder. Is that what it is? Yeah, well, I mean, louder. Well, it's Kevin Short said, you're, you're 3 dB higher. And I was like, yeah, all right. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're <laughs> keeping was, an eye on things, right? We're not? Okay. He was excited about that. Um, oh, good, really. But, you know, yeah, so there, there's a legal limit that you have to broadcast oh, okay. within. okay. And we are okay. within that limit. Yeah, oh, we, absolutely. We checked everything yep. out. We're monitoring everything. But, you know, yep. we want to be we want to be pushing the upper limit. Sure. Not the lower limit. So, right. Yeah. We have a whole team of people making everything happen. It's Colin, Colin, and Colin. <laughs> so I, it's Colin. Well, yeah, but I do have a lot of. People that are have been in, in the industry for right. many many years, and you know, I mean, Kevin Short's just a huge resource with mm -hmm. you know, the audio stuff. So, and we have other radio stations that are very supportive of us. Yeah. TV stations, you know, yep, like exactly. everybody is really glad that we bought this station. They're happy for us. Yep. We're not out to harm anybody, you know, or right. animals, either one. I mean, there's one person I think that was a little unhappy about something, but we don't want yeah. to talk about that anyway. Well, and you know what? We have learned this. Even if you don't like us and you're talking about us, you may not realize that you're helping promote us. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so exactly. We've, we've been in business long enough that we realize whether you're talking good or bad about us, you're talking about you're us. You're still talking about you're us. You're still exactly. talking about us. Yeah, and all right, we're but, on but your no, mind. We, we're, we're not out to steal anybody's appetite. No, nope, not at all. We're not. We're just doing our thing over here. Right. And uh, man, I can barely hear it, but I do hear okay. it. Okay. okay. All right. So anyway, all right. I'll see you in a little bit, Jim. You see me in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, good, good. I can never tell when you're stressed, but anyway, I, if you could make it a little louder in my headphones, I'll take it just a little bit. All right, so what's going on? Denise, 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 anybody from Woodbridge football here? Okay, so let's get the one and only Jimmy Weller. Jimmy Weller, come on down. Come on down. Jimmy, how are you? It is a holiday, by golly. It is a holiday. Okay, thank you. But we still want you to come to work today, okay. even though it's a holiday. Absolutely. All right. So um, say something. I want to make sure I can hear testing, you. Testing, testing. You got it. All right. So how are you today? Great. Come all the way from Salisbury, Salisbury to be here. Bright and early. Well, thanks for coming. Yep. Okay. And uh, how's business been for us over oh, there at Wells? Incredible. Wellers? 
Oh, incredible. Incredible. <laughs> okay. All right. Great season. Uh, is it really? Yep. Okay. Do people seem to like our sale prices? They do. Okay. They like our inventory. Oh, yeah. I must hear it all the time. You have so many trailers. Yeah. Is it annoying to people? No. They like it. They like it. Colors, choices, sizes. And, um, and we try to explain to people all the time that if you're shopping for a trailer mm-hmm. and you go somewhere and they only sell one brand, it really makes it Because no two trailers are built the same. Not many. Not many. <laughs> so, in other words, you know, I think... I think it's important that, you know, if you get a price on a trailer and somebody's this price is somebody else, you got to find out what the difference is. Yeah. And we pride ourselves on that. Absolutely. At Weller. So. We're very uh, knowledgeable. Yeah. Today's going to be a big day. The sun is shining. What time is it going to rain today? I hope it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> are you still looking to buy a boat? We are. Okay. Yep. What's the matter? Uh, we're you trying to find time to go shopping for a boat. Oh, okay. Along okay. with work being busy, home life is very busy. Okay. We've been redoing the office. Okay. On the final steps of that. All right. But, uh, yes, we are. We're still looking for a pontoon. Okay. Hopefully buying a motorcycle today. Are you buying a pontoon with three things? A tri tune, I think it's I called. No, they had tri tunes. Yeah, it has three tubes. Okay. Because if you get a pontoon boat, I'm being told, and it only has two of the things, when boats go by, it makes it a lot rockier than if it has a third tube. So makes sense. if you're looking and you find one and your price range with three tubes, that's what I'd get. Okay. Okay. Now, did I hear you say you're thinking about buying a motorcycle next year? Uh, supposedly buying one today. Really? Yep. Okay. We're going to put it on the trailer. Really? Yep. What size? What kind? Uh, Honda 600. Oh, it's a big so one. So this is my second one. My first one was a 1200, and it was it was a lot. Okay. <laughs> so I, I got rid of it. Okay. And this uh, is a Honda 600. Yep. Okay. So I went to get my license. You're going to put it on that little trailer you got? Yep. Pull it behind my car. Really? Yeah. Well, we're going to try to. <laughs> okay. I got plenty of trailers if you need a trailer. Yeah. Okay. That trailer just got some use getting mulch. Oh, really? Yeah. I okay. didn't realize how large a yard of mulch was. I don't know that I'd have hauled mulch I, on that trailer. Knowing that now, I wouldn't have. Those okay. wheels were close to the ground. Really? Yeah. They I, were all cocked out. I bet you yeah. did some damage. I did today. some damage. Whew. Trailer guy damages his own trailer. One yard of mulch. That's, One. that's nothing. That's a lot of weight. That's probably that more like than a 3, ton. 000, yeah. yeah. 3, and that's if it didn't wet. I know what because the thing about mulch and wood, it depends on whether it's wet or dry. It may be a, a, a yard of mulch, but if it's a, a yard of wet mulch versus a yard of not wet mulch, yep. it makes a world of difference in the weight. Okay. I'm sure you torque the lug nuts and check the air before you went. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Trailer's always right. ready. So today, going from hauling whatever the value of a yard of mulch is, you're hauling a motorcycle on this thing. Yep. Okay, be careful. Motorcycle, I'm convinced of. Oh, you are. Okay. Of 600 pounds. Okay. I'm more concerned about the car, but okay, it's a tough car. All right. <laughs> you go for it. These are all your things you're, you're working over. All right, so what else are you doing today? Today, um, we're hopefully finishing the office. Okay. We've got to put a door on. All right. And then um, we got to do a closet door, which we had to assemble. It's a barn door. It was a bunch of slats. Oh, where it goes like that? Yep. Oh, okay. That'll be cool. That. And then we're having a tournament tonight. At you, your house? You and Mom are welcome. What we're having a tournament. A BattleBots tournament. Oh, so I know some people going to this. ever BattleBots, it's amazing. Wow. BattleBots are these robots that teams build. They weigh like two, 300 pounds, and they battle each other. And then you either incapacitate one, you flip it out of the arena. This is on TV. It's on TV. Okay. So we're doing like 15 rounds. We're going to keep track. We're all going to pick somebody. And then if you win, you get a mark. Oh, really? We got a prize basket at the end. Really? So Jenny and her family's coming over. Kim and her family's coming over. Really? Yep. Is Simba into this? Simba is into it. Simba's into everything. Okay. All right. Okay. This will be at Jimmy's house. Yep. Battle bot starts Denise. at six. Starts at six. And that pizza and oh, sodas pizza. And All right. It's a party. It's a party. All right. We're trying and to do something every weekend. Are you this, really? This year. Good idea. All right. What else do I need to know about Jimmy Weller? Uh, I think that's about it. Okay. Have you cut your grass, grass yet? Grass, but we did have somebody do mulch. Okay. So After you hauled it home. I hauled one yard. Oh, and then you we, stopped after that. And then we got a professional to bring four or five more yards. Okay. There you go. So I couldn't unload it. So True. I was one and done. Right. You were. You were. And you learned a lot. 
I learned a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if people wanted to talk to you about a trailer, a carport, a shed, a swing set, what do they do? Come to Weller's. Okay. There till 2. Got two. a lot of people lined up today. Busy day today. Yep. And we always tell people come after 11. From 11 to 2 is when it gets a line. Okay. And not everybody likes waiting in line. So come before 11 if you can. Come before 11. Okay, gotcha. All right, anything else I need to know? Nothing else. I'm out of here. Okay, have a good day. Thank See you, Jimmy. All right, there you go, Jimmy Weller, Weller's Utility Trailers, Bridgeville, Delaware. It's that simple, okay? So what else is going on? I'm going to presume that there's no, oh, Sean's a no-show. Sean canceled yesterday, or somebody did anyway. So um, we are going to have to work on this. I think what we're going to do is we let people on the show, if you're a nonprofit or organization, we let you on for free. I think what we're going to do is charge you $100 if you don't show because it doesn't give us the opportunity to find a paying customer when somebody doesn't show, okay? But anyway, hopefully nobody's had an accident or it's nothing, an emergency or something like that. So I'm going to move on with the show. Is that okay, Denise? I want to talk just a little bit about Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling. A lot of people know that I am very fond of the Fitzgerald family. The Fitzgerald family is in Lincoln. They've been quite an inspiration for me, a witness of a way to run a business and live your life. They're good people. So I want to say thank you to Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling for supporting my show, Weller Does Del Marva. We do this show every Saturday, and we say thank you to all of our supporters, sponsors. And I want to just say, if you have any junk metal, like if you're getting ready to start cutting your grass and you're like, oh my goodness, I forgot about all this stuff laying out in the backyard, you can call Fitzgerald's. If it's an old junk car, you can call them and they will come and haul it for you, all right? But if it's just junk metal, like an old appliance or an old dishwasher or whatever, I was just thinking about an old dishwasher. But anyway, uh, you take it to Fitzgerald's and they will buy it from you. They even buy old junk car batteries, those 12 volt batteries, not like double A batteries, nothing like that, but car batteries. So they buy batteries, they buy junk metal, they buy scrap cars. So if you have any of that and you want to turn it into cash, Fitzgerald's on Route 113 in Lincoln will buy it from you. It's that simple. Now also, if you happen to need any crushed concrete. People say, what is crushed concrete? Crushed concrete is another form of recycling. It's where if they dig up a road or a sidewalk or something like that, and they got big chunks of concrete, Fitzgerald's has that all ground up into little pellet-sized pieces, and people buy that. It's called crushed concrete. And then you spread it out. You can make a driveway out of it. You could make a, you know, a, a pad to put a shed on or something like that. So if you need any crushed concrete, they sell that. They also sell used auto parts, like a part for your car, a body part, um, or even a complete motor or a complete transmission. So if you have a car and the motor has failed, and but you really like the car and you want to buy another motor, Fitzgerald sells motors and transmissions as well and all kinds of auto parts. So give them a call. It is Fitzgerald's Salvage and Recycling. The phone number is 302 422 7584 302 422 7584 Fitzgerald's.us um, on the web. And yes, they're very active on the Facebook. <clears throat> I'd like to see if that gentleman would like to join me today. Wilson's Auction, another great local Lincoln business. Wilson's Auction. Dave Wilson is a good friend of mine and Wilson's Auction has an auction today. It's going to be a beautiful day, a great day to go to an auction. So it's on Route 113 in Lincoln. Can't miss it. They've been in business over 50 years now and it's Wilson's Auction. You, What, what, what can I expect to find? Thousands of things. You can go to Wilson's Auction's website and look at hundreds of pictures, okay? Anything from uh, there is jewelry, there is glassware, there is coins, there's appliances, there's furniture, there is construction equipment, there is a little bit of everything. Lawn and garden, there'll be bicycles, there'll be exercise equipment, there is thousands of things, and it gets sold to the highest bidder every Saturday. They have multiple auctioneers going on. It'll go all day today and into the evening, okay? So if you've never been to Wilson's Auction, check it out. If you've got something you want to sell, like you got a pile of stuff in your garage and you just no longer need it, take it to Wilson's and they will sell it for you and you can turn 
turn it like you take it there like Wednesday through Friday. And you go back on Monday and they'll pay you in cash and you'll be done with it, okay? Wilson's Auction also has an auto auction on Tuesday nights at 6 o'clock. You can buy or sell just like the dealers do. So if you need a car or a vehicle, Tuesday nights at Wilson's, it's going on, okay? So 302-422-3454, 422-3454, serving Delmarva for over 50 years now. Um, public auction every Saturday, and there's going to be one today starting at 10 o'clock. Now, I've got somebody that we're going to take a picture with first. Here we go. Smile pretty. Jeez. Okay. All right. This young man has been um, coming to the show now probably for at least a year. Is that right? A few years. A few years. Yeah. Do you remember where is the first show you came to? Uh, the first one was in Milton. Milton at Beaches. At Beaches. Okay. Did you come for the show or the food or the fellowship? For the show. For the show. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, I now listened to you on the radio for many years. Have you really? As I drive uh, for my employers okay. or just with the family and stuff. Excellent. And uh, what is your name? Uh, my name's C.R. Smith. C.R. Smith. Okay. All right. And uh, you live in the Milton area? Yes. Okay. Uh, your area. wife saw to that? Yes. Okay. She is a Milton girl. Really? So she well, gave good. me a 15-minute radius of from the middle of town where we could live. Milton is a great town, constantly growing, doing all kinds of great things. Definitely. So. So anyway, um, so you've been listening to the show for years. Yes, I, okay. I actually uh, <clears throat> have used some of your um, advertisers. Oh, and stuff. like who? I've, I've used, uh, I was listening to you one day about Dry Zone. <clears throat> oh, there, okay. And I was like, oh, that's, that, I know where that is. And, okay. Uh, over there near uh, Ellendale. And then I heard you say something about they did garages. <sighs> oh. And, um, I had them come out, and uh, they looked at my garage, and they did a fantastic Did you job. get your floor redone? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, isn't that have, wonderful? And they have storage units okay. <clears throat> that they supply or shelving, and you can have it with doors, without doors. Okay. And uh, they did a nice little setup for us for our lawn equipment, and my wife's a teacher, so she was able okay. to get a little teacher cabinet. Oh, wow. So she can store papers and, you know, files and stuff. So they came out, gave you an estimate. Did they give you ideas when they come out? Yes, they give you a lot of options of your colors. Okay. Um, they give you uh, ideas if you want to go up the wall a little bit. I, the up the blocks, yeah. The yes. Good idea, yep. And I had a really nice uh, young lady come out, the sales lady. I Grace. Think her name was Grace. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very, She's part of the nice. family. Awesome. Grace awesome. Anderson, yep. Yep. So wow. she was fantastic. And uh, they showed up when they were supposed to and did what they were supposed to. It's so hard to find sometimes. Like yeah, that, I agree. Nowadays. Right. So, and I told them about listening to you. I saved a thousand dollars on my job. So they gave you a discount. Dollars. Yes. Really? Yep. Wow. So, so was, I actually am worth listening to. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. And Anybody I'm, else you dealt with? I, I've dealt with uh, Shorewater. Oh, okay. Over in Dagsboro area. Okay. I think I might have heard them on your show one time. All right. Mr. Hurd. Yep, Brian, Brian Hurd. Yep. And uh, he came out. I was having some trouble with my pipes, like eroding and stuff. Okay. And uh, he was able to come out, and they told me exactly what it was doing and why it was doing he it. He knows the <clears> stuff. <throat> And, uh, I think it's Shore Water Refinery. Yes. Yep, Brian and, Hurd. And there again, they showed up. They uh, did a fantastic job, cleaned up after themselves. You wouldn't even know they were there, so I had new equipment. Right. And could tell that same day a difference, a difference. in the water wow. pressure and the quality. We need to do that. So it's it's been it's really good, good listening well, to your you. advertisers. Well, thank you. Have I ever given you a keychain? I don't think so. Well, I'm going to give you one for you and one for your wife. Wonderful. That's a TV Delmarva one. That's a Weller's one. I tried to get they, her to come. They this gave you this, right? But it didn't work out. Yes. You need any more? No, I got okay, a few of those. Just thank you. All right. Yep. Okay. Appreciate well, I'm going to say thank you very much. All right. Yep. Thank you. Take Mr. care. Yep. Cr. Correct. Cr. All right. Yep. See ya. All right. He's been hanging out with us and never asked his name. Or else I forgot it either way. We're going to open the phone lines in just a minute or two. So I want everybody to get ready to call in. Um, I'm going to give away a few things here today. All right. You ready? We're going to give you one gift card to T.S. Smith Orchard Point Market for six free apple cider donuts. We're going to give you two gift cards to Vanderwins and then one gift card to Chick-fil-A. All right. 
So that sounds like, what is one, two, and one? Anybody know? One, two, and one. Add them together, and it is four. Okay? All right. So anyway, four gift cards we're going to give you for free. You got to pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville. Weller's in Bridgeville. Next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday through Saturday. Okay? So what is the phone number? It's 302 422 7336 302-422-7336. You can call now, anytime. We'll get your name on the list. In the meantime, we're going to brag on Vanderwins. I was actually there yesterday. Got myself some chocolate chip ice cream on a sugar cone. And um, I had somebody with me that got sugarless ice cream. So anyway, Vanderwins does a great job. There's like four locations, Dewey Beach, Fenwick Island, in Greenwood, and then outside of Greenwood. So anyway, out on 404. So if you love ice cream, they got a cup, a cone, a pint, a quart. Uh, you can hire their truck to come to an event, like if your business is having an event or an open house or anything like that, um, or you're having a big party at your house and you want ice cream, they'll send a truck full of ice cream, and I don't know what the deal is, but I'm sure there's a charge for it, of course. All right, so with that said, if you would like four gift cards for free, two of them to Vanderwins, one of them to Chick-fil-A, and one of them to T.S. Smith Orchard Point Market, you call this number. Now, you need to dial this number in this order. It's 302-422-7336. 302-422-7336. Dial it in that order, and we are ready for a phone call, okay? But we appreciate Vanderwins. We appreciate Vander. Try it one time, Jonathan. Three, um, say again. Just ask him if we got a call. Okay. You got any calls there, Lawrence? Put them, through. Put them through if you do. All right. So anyway, nobody's calling in today. But with that said, I just want to say thanks a lot to Vanderwins for sponsoring the show, being part of the show. Um, I can give out my phone number. We got somebody now. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning, Jimmy. Watching you from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Are you really? Yes. <laughs> what are you guys doing up there? Celebrating our anniversary. How many years? Well, for Skip and I, it's 16. Okay. Well, congratulations. Well, that's good for us. <laughs> yep. Congratulations. So you up Thank for the? You. you up for these gift cards? Yeah, we okay. love our Chick Fil A. We love them all. All right. Well, thank you very much, and I'll set them aside for you. Thank you, Jimmy. And you have a wonderful blessed and ha day. And happy anniversary. Okay. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Uh -huh. bye bye. All right, caller, are you there? Thank you, Jimmy. Yes. Hey, who am I talking to? Uh, Jimmy Joseph. Jimmy Joseph. And where are you calling from, yes. Jimmy? Uh, Seaford, Delaware. All right. Are you calling for the gift cards? Uh, yes. Okay. You know where Wellers is in Bridgeville? I'm, I'm Seaford. Okay. Do you know where the store is that you have to pick them up? Yes. Okay. Well, they'll be ready next Tuesday, Tuesday through Saturday next yes. week. Okay. All right. Take care, Jimmy. All uh, right. Thank you. Bye. All right. We got another call. Caller, are you there? Hey there, caller. Are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. So anyway, that was a couple calls. 302-422-7336. Rapid fire. 302 302- 422-7336. Just want to let you know that we are here for you, and uh, we're giving away some gift cards. No problem at all. So I don't know what else to say. Uh, normally, we get a lot of phone calls. So, But anyway, thank you, Lawrence, for making everything happen. He's answering them just as quick as lightning back there. And uh, Jerry's low on a tree care. Let's brag on that. But before we do that, let's talk about a today event. Today, today, today at Revelation Brewery. In Georgetown, Delaware, there is an Easter egg hunt. You say, what? Yes, it was too wet for the Easter Bunny about a week ago. So they have got 6,500 eggs that they're going to put out. And there is going to be an Easter egg hunt today. What is today's date? It is the 6th, the 6th of April. Today, there is an Easter egg hunt at Revelation Brewery in Georgetown, Delaware. There's going to be a lot of things. There's two. So it starts, 
I think get there at about noon. I don't know exactly what time everything starts. Get there about noon, okay? And um, they're also going to have a pet Easter egg hunt, too. That one, I think, starts at 1. So a lot of things going on today. So there's an Easter egg hunt in Georgetown, Delaware, if you want to check it out. All right, so with that said, no more callers, I take it. 302-422-73. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know they were there. Caller, go ahead. Caller, are you there? Sam Wilson. Sam, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm doing good. Good, I appreciate you listening or watching. Um, you going to come get these gift cards next week? Yes. All right, will you tell Helen hi for me? Uh, uh, um, hi. Hi. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. So anyway, all right. Well, I'm I'm gonna let Hi, you go. Helen. What's that, Sam? Uh, Helen. Helen. I I had a horrible stroke. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put your name on the list, and you can pick up your gift cards next week, Tuesday through Saturday. All right. Okay. All right. I gotta go, Sam. I'll see ya. Caller, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Caller, are you there? Hello. Sam, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm great. Who how am I talking doing? to? Good. My name's Cody. Cody. Have you ever called in, Cody? I have not. No, I was uh, listening on my way to work, and I pulled over and called. Well, Heard thank you. Awesome gift cards. Yeah, of course. Well, you pick them up next week at Wellers in Bridgeville, Tuesday through Saturday, all right? Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, Cody. Have a safe weekend. You as well. Thanks. Okay. Caller, are you there? I think we got another call. Caller, are you there? Folks, I'm just running through them as fast as we can. We're trying to do four a minute if we can. Caller, are you there? Nobody at all? They ghosted me. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for calling in. We got Sam Wilson. We got Cody. And we got Jimmy Joseph. And we got Connie. Happy anniversary to Connie and Skip. So, with that said, no more phone calls for now. We're going to move on to something else. I do want to brag on Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care, but I'm going to do that after we take a break. So, I need you to understand, if you're listening on Delaware 1059, we do take a break at the top and the bottom of the hour from that, and the show does not stop. So, if you want to hear what we're saying while they're on break, while we're on break, just switch over to Jim Weller's Facebook page so you won't miss a thing, okay? So you won't miss a thing, all right? Um, I do want to say if you ever want to be on this show, we'd love to have you. And um, just get up with me. And uh, some organizations are on. We don't charge organizations. Um, if you're a business and you want to advertise, naturally we would want to uh, be compensated for our time. But we have a very strong, loyal audience of over 10 years. Uh, Weller Does Del Marva is starting its 11th year. And we would like the opportunity to get you on the show. Uh, we might be booked out till August at the moment. But anyway, I hear the music. We're taking a break from Delaware 105.9. For that particular audience, switch over to Jim Weller's Facebook page. I don't want you to miss a thing. All right. Okay. We've continued on. Jim Weller here. The, it never stops. It just never stops. I talk in my sleep. It just never stops. So for my fine day radio audience, my fine day radio audience, if you're out there, and if you're in New Jersey, well, in fact, I, I tell you all I want. I want a phone call from somebody. What was that? Can't right now. You're absolutely correct. I'll talk about that later. I keep forgetting that. So anyway, bottom line is, if you ever want to advertise on Fine Day Radio, if you do, it is really simple. You give me a call. We've got this unbelievable special. Uh, we have been running it. It's supposed to end at the end of every month, and it hasn't ended yet. $488, you say. That sounds a little cheap. It's affordable is what I'm trying to say. $488 a month for not 10, not 20, not 30, not 40, not 50. 60. 60. Let me say it again. 60 30-second radio ads for $488 a month, and they're prime time, and they're seven days a week. They're six in the morning until eight at night, and they're seven days a week. So the bottom line is if you own a business or you're involved with an organization and you've got a message or a product or a service and you want to get the word out, we want to help you with Fine Day Radio. People are listening on the app. People are listening on the air. People are coming out to our shows. Uh, we've got a very lively, responsive, quality 
audience. So if you'd like to advertise with us, we'd love to have you. Well, and, and you heard you know, a few minutes ago right. that advertising gets results. There's no question. Radio gets results. Radio gets so, results. Yeah. Yep. Just had yeah, a gentleman so, come up and randomly talk about two different people that advertise and um, yep. heard about them on the radio and did business with them. Yeah. 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 So, so it does work, and uh, your show works. So My uh, show works. It the does. Jim Weller stamp of approval or whatever yeah. it is <laughs> works. So, yep. uh, but we are, uh, you know, we, we've got uh, spots available like Wednesday. So on the show that we do at oh, uh, yeah, Golden live. Eagle Diner. I went there for lunch yesterday. Okay. Uh, and uh, it was really good. Took Maria, and she really enjoyed it. Good. Yeah. I got those ten percent off gift cards to move. To oh, move that's to right. move. I forgot that's about right. them. So if you come out next week Wednesday. Next Wednesday, uh, to the Golden Eagle Diner in Seaford. Ask, ask for one of those ten percent off coupons from Come Jen sit with or us. Linda, Linda, will you be there Wednesday? Um, Linda, Linda will, will be. be there, so yep. she could hand them out, I guess. She can hand them out. So uh, yep. we have a little room off to the side where we do the show. It's not a little room. It's a it's big not. room. It holds 80 people. Yep. So anyway, if you want to come join us and be part of our live studio audience, we will give you a gift card that saves you 10%. 10%. And you can, he said you can what? even use it on the lunch specials, and the lunch specials are like... I don't know. There's usually something on there for like seven ninety nine, yeah, nine 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 ninety nine. Sometimes there's eleven ninety nine. But he also said that you can use them with takeout. He did say that. He That's did right. say that. Yep. Right. So it's a heck of a deal. If you can't even stay to watch the show, right, just pop into that room and said I was listening. I want my ten percent discount. Cards. Yep. Yep. So that's ten to noon on Wednesdays. If you ever want to join us, even if you come, we might be able to squeeze you in. Okay. That show has a little Maybe. more flexibility. A than little this, more, than yeah. Saturday show, right? Yes. So anyway, it's exciting, Colin. The crowd's building. We're getting more people coming in. A lot we of people. Are, yeah. They're over in the restaurant and they're watching. They're saying, like, what's going on over in that room? Well, we've also so, found that there's people over there that are that have come there for the show, but they're they're shy or you yes. know, don't don't want to ask to come in right to that right. section. So afraid if you're, I'm going to snag them. You want to come in? We won't bother you. Just. Say, hey, I want to sit over there. Feel free. Yeah, feel free. So yeah. if you if you could join us, and we'd love to have your company, in other words. You know, we might even have some yeah. giveaways to give you. Plus, you could save 10% on your food. That's a giveaway right That's there. a giveaway right there, all right. Yep. So people are eating breakfast. The crowd is pretty good. And uh, what a morning it's been. It's been a very good morning here. Very good. You yep. keep talking. All right. Well, Jim is drinking his water. He's working on trying to be able to talk while he's drinking his water, but uh, so we need to get that ventriloquist in here. That what the ventriloquist? That's right. Yes, Mr. Mr. Goodwood. Goodwood. Mr. Goodwood. That's right. Ken Huff and Mr. Goodwood. How y'all doing? Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna have a good breakfast. There, there's a lot going okay. on uh, here with a fine day one two three and this broadcast we're gonna do from the Bug and Bud is uh, it's gonna be fun. Gonna be What's fun the weather. day of the, the other thing we're doing? Is it the 18th? That is the 18th. Yeah, that's, that's a Thursday night. Yeah. We have another it's not event this coming week, but the following week. You're hoping it's not this coming. Week. Right? Yeah, I am. Your hoping. face is saying, "I hope it's not this Thursday." No, right. it's not. Exactly. No, it's not this Thursday. So uh, it's the following Thursday, and that's going to be at uh, West Side Diner Restaurant in Milford. Restaurant in Milford. That's it's going to be a meet and greet. I think it's going to be on their patio. <coughs> it out is there the enclosed patio. Yep. So that'll be real nice. So We're going to be broadcasting live from uh, 6 to 8. 6 to 8 p.m. We'll be getting there about 5. That's right. So you're welcome to come out and uh, join the candidates mm -hmm. there. So this is for the new candidates. Uh, City of Milford and Mayor. And, and so they invited us to come out and said, we'd love to have you come out and broadcast right. it. And we said, absolutely, sure. It's, right. it's not our event. It's not our event at all. Right. So. We're just hosting the just, broadcasting part of it. Right. And they invited right. us. So it wasn't. we didn't create the event or anything. Right. It wasn't our us. idea. Right. They but we think it's a great idea. Right. I, I agree, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, so I there's, hear it. A, there's lots of new candidates coming on. So anyway, I'll talk to you in a bit. One more time. All right. Jim, One more time. All right. One more time. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. Oh, my goodness. Jerry Santoro. So if you are debating who's going to cut your grass or anything like that this year, call Jerry. If you're looking for some mulch, call Jerry. If you need some tree work done, like all this rain we've had and you've got some trees leaning over and limbs hanging or whatever, call Jerry. So anyway, I just want to let you know that Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care is available for hire, whatever you need done. Mulch, seeding, irrigation systems, pavers, whatever you may need, you give Jerry a call. 
He clears building lots too. So he does a little bit of everything. So if you have any questions, if you want an estimate, if you want to deal with him, it's Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. Call Jerry. So what's his phone number? I forgot his phone number. It's on this piece of paper. It's 302-363-6025. Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. Okay? So anyway, his website is jlc dash llc.com jlc-llc.com you can use these out of this little thing if you want okay all right so anyway jerry's lawn and tree care jerry's lawn and tree care all right it's that simple jlc-llc.com and he's very active on the facebook jerry santoro thank you very much for the good job you do he cuts the grass at wellers in bridgeville and i'm very 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 happy with him now we have a lady we have two up here that um, Kyle Schaefer, she is organizing an event. It's a small event. Just a few thousand people are going to go. So anyway, um, at Hudson Fields, and I'm sorry, we have to take our picture. I keep forgetting that. I've stopped talking. All right, I stopped talking long enough to get a picture. Okay? I talk so much so fast, it's a blur. Anyway, this is a big event. Rally for our first responders. How you doing? I'm, I'm fantastic. Good. I know you are. That's the, the rumor out. on the street. You're fantastic. The sun's out. The sun is out. What time is it going to rain today? Not. And the other day, I joked. I said, it hasn't rained yet. <laughs> and then it rained. I'm like, my goodness. All right. Rally for our first responders is coming up. Is June it still 1st. June 1st? June 1st. You're not going to change that date, right? June 1st is a Saturday. It's a Saturday right? at Hudson Fields. Free parking? Free parking. Free fresh air? Free fresh air. Okay. Free fellowship? Absolutely. And now all the money you want to spend, there's no spending limit. No spending you can limit. bid on things all you want. You can buy things. You can buy food. Is that right? Drinks. Drinks. Um, what else? We're going to have vendors. We're going to have a car show. We're going to have, have some raffle items. We're going to have a live auction. Oh, a live auction. Live auction. 50 okay. 50. Okay. We're going to have 10 inflatables. 10 of them. 10 inflatables. Okay. You Do you them. demonstrate each one personally? <laughs> No? Okay. I can. Just a second. Okay, I'm you can. I actually have, um, this just happened, a 40-foot DUI simulator. What is a 40-foot, 40 <laughs> 40-foot 40 DUI? Is it the thing where you sit in the side of a trailer and drive it? Is that it? Okay. So you, you get a sense it's, of the uh, uh -huh. sensation of being impaired. Right. Okay, so let's introduce everybody. So first of all, we got Kyle Schaefer, right? Yes. Okay, you're the uh, brains and the energy behind this event. Is that right? Of course. Yes. Okay. And then we have the colonel of the Delaware State Police. Is that right? Yes, sir. Melissa, Melissa Zebley. Right. Well, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Are you the first female colonel? I am. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I think Thank I remember. <laughs> was Ruth Ann Minner the first female governor, yes, I believe? Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, so, sir. Um, both very accomplished ladies. In other words, good job. Thank you. I appreciate so, that. Okay. So, tell us about this DUI simulator. <laughs> well, Melissa could probably tell better. I have you I, have you done no, it yet? I have not. Oh, you should see this <laughs> no, thing. I can't wait to see it. Okay. Have, have you, you done it, sir? I have done it. Yeah. Okay. If it's the one that's in a trailer. Yes. Tell us I about have. your experience. Okay. And well, why people should not I drive was, impaired. I under in my opinion, I was doing a great job of driving. <laughs> Most people and, say that, sir. Right. Yes. And that is the problem with people that drink and drive. Yes. They are behind the wheel, and they are thoroughly convinced that that other car just ran into them, when really, they ran into it. Because everything you need to do when it's time to put your foot on the brake, turn right, turn left, whatever, your reaction time is totally different than what you think it is. You're impaired. You're, you're not yourself. Right. But you can't convince people of that. Well, so this will help. Part, that's part of uh, why such things exist, so that we right. edu the education ahead mm -hmm. of the act is, is really what we're trying to achieve with yeah. such an instrument. Yeah. Well, I think it's a great investment. Um, I think it's neat that it's in a trailer. So um, I think it's pretty cool. So I just want to say that about it. Um, who owns this? Where did this come from, this idea? 
This actually uh, falls under our Department of Alcohol and Tobacco Enforcement, so okay. Dave, a uh, subsidiary also of the Department of Safety and Homeland Security, one okay. of the divisions under Secretary McQueen. Yep. So a sister agency to us, and they, they'll put it out in the field for any and all opportunities for education, such as the rally for first oh, responders. great idea. Yes. Um, are younger people allowed to get in it? Is there an age limit? No, there's no age limit. In fact, that's obviously the optimal goal. The okay. earlier we can Teenagers. educate our younger drivers about the impacts of impairment, how it reduces your perception and your reactionary skills. That's what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, it was really good. I did it at the Seaford Police Department for some event. It was there. And I was like, that is really neat. So it's going to be there. Yes, sir. Among okay. many, many other things associated with first responder work. So anybody who has any type of interest in in what we all do, we'll see some component of it there today, that day, day from mounted patrol to aviation. The dogs. The dogs. I know everyone loves the dogs. What's everyone that thing and called? The, horses. the uh It's a truck. I saw <laughs> bullet dents in the steel. Um, is it called a Bearcat? Yes, sir. Oh, that was that a Bearcat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. will likely be there as well. With That's our scary. Special operations response team. Well, if it, it's coming to your house, it's coming for a reason. Yeah, but I mean, it's scary <laughs> to just think about being inside of it. Yes, sir. And I thought I saw an area that looked like bullets had hit it at some time in its life, you know. It had. That wasn't, uh, sadly, terribly long ago at the Veterans Cemetery. <sighs> Up there. In, yeah, so oh, very, yeah. very brave uh, troopers occupying that piece of equipment when it was fired upon by the actor. Yeah. Um, who, who took the lives of those folks that day. So, um, yes, yeah, a very necessary uh, piece of equipment for our special operations team. Because it's one thing to see it, but it's another thing to see where bullets had actually hit it. Yes. While they continue to, you know, the, the thing about our first responders is everything you see on TV or whatever, they're going in while everybody else is coming out. Yes, sir. They're first responding, in other words. So so um, how long have you been a state trooper? 32 years. Really? Just a teenager when you started? <laughs> no. <laughs> sadly, no. But uh, I can tell you it's uh, the greatest professional uh, career I could have invested my life in. I say wow. that to, to all young people who are interested and uh, proud to speak about what we do and, and frankly, who we are mm -hmm. uh, each and every chance I get the opportunity. Well, Delaware State Police, I'm a big fan of. I think they do a good job, very well trained, very well prepared. Uh, they have a lot of compassion. You know, they, uh, they, they do a good job. They I really do. I appreciate that. Yep. Thank I've, you. Um, I've been around enough of them. I've seen how they interact, how they react. They don't always get treated the nicest, but they always respond with a level of integrity and just keep it above board all the time. So. Yeah, I'd like to say, uh, you know, it's not essentially, exclusively what we do. It's who we are. Right. We right. believe deeply in the mission under which we serve, and uh, you know we want safe communities because we're also your neighbors, your friends, mm -hmm. you know, veterans, volunteers, and public servants. So we want the communities to be as as safe as you do. Right, and it's important. Um, I want to ask you on the July, June first, not July first, June first. Are you going to be giving free taser demonstrations? <laughs> Only to you. <laughs> Only to me. <laughs> As a former honorary okay. commander, oh, yeah. you are. Oh, yeah, I'm eligible. <laughs> tasing is part of, yes, the commitment you oh, made. Oh, really? Oh, yes. okay. Well, I've just been putting it off. <laughs> um, is it true that when you see a Delaware State Trooper carrying a taser, that they have been tasered? That is true. That is part of our training so that you understand uh, what What's the your? instrument does. Uh, you understand uh, how to give commands to folks and how they may react and obviously mm. that could be a variety of ways because of their size or their level of impairment etc so anyone carrying a taser has been tased uh, I myself have been tased wow. so uh, I think we believe it's an important part of the training to fully understand the instrument do you remember when you were tased I certainly do <laughs> it's a shocking experience oh, yes, isn't it, it is. that's well mm -hmm. said I'm gonna put mine off as long as I can <laughs> we have you signed up for June 1st, June 1st. At Hudson Fields. high noon everybody <laughs> oh my goodness so anyway um, how many Delaware State Troopers are there there are presently 700 and wow. we have nine, 18 now sitting in our training Academy as we speak so okay. Uh, hopefully, a little bit in a few short months here, we'll be up to seven nineteen, seven twenty. Well, that's a lot of people, isn't it? Uh, they're fantastic, and I'll add to that: we have just over three hundred in our professional staff. So okay. I always like to say we are thousand members strong. Very because good. Because we certainly couldn't do what we do without the mm -hmm. work of those in our professional staff. Wow. 
So what can we see on June 1st? What is the state police doing that day? Oh my gosh, they're going to have the mountain patrol. Um, the mountain. Yep. Oh, mountain I'm sorry. Patrol. We're going to have canine demos. We're having all the different police vehicles. Are you involved in the canine demo? I'm not. Okay, you have to be I able watch to it. run fast. You have to oh. look innocent and not show Those fear. Those dogs are amazing. They are amazing. They have are. you ever seen them like sniff a vehicle? In yes, other and words, I don't, this is a good time to mention you're a part of that demonstration. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, sir, yes. Holding that you're thing. Be part of all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, give me a give me a dog see. right ready to retire. <laughs> A slow one. A slow one. A slow one. We're going to tease oh. you and... Tease me and all that. Woo. You make my hair curl. Anyway, so... But the dogs do such a good job. I can remember, I think, you know, at one point, a dog just, like, kind of did it all. And now there's way more specialized uses for these dogs. Am I right on that? That is true. So, patrol dogs. Uh, you could have bomb detection dogs. Yep. Drug detection dogs. Um, so, yeah, they, it runs the gamut of specialties that yep. they may hold. Um, and they can be cross-trained to be a little bit of both, okay. perhaps. Okay. Yes. Wow. Now, when they... When a dog, they, they holler, we're letting the dog come or, or whatever. They try to give you every opportunity to just comply. Because that's all we're really trying to do is get compliance. Correct. Correct? Yes. So, um, but when that dog comes, I hear him speak in a different language to the dog. Is that right? They have, uh, they train to very specific commands. Okay. So that, you know, it's exclusive to that handler and that canine. Very in tune with each other. Correct. Okay. Correct. So that it's not, um, you know, any voice that they'll respond to. It's that oh, handler's right. vo voice. And as I said, there's very specific commands about the direction that they're giving them. Because if your customer it says, stop, they're not, the dog's not stopping just because the person says it. Correct. It's got to be the handler. Correct. Okay. All right. Were you ever had a canine? I did not. I okay. Did not. Oh, you got pets at home? Just the one at home. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So um, what, else, what else do you want to say? Well, I have a new rally t-shirt. Oh, I saw those on the uh, Facebook. Yes. Okay. What sizes you got? We have small to small. triple X. Oh, triple yes. X. Okay. Well, very good. And they're, sold, they're being sold right now at Revelation in Rehoboth and in Georgetown. 25 bucks. They're twenty dollars, oh, and $20. then twenty-four for the two X and three X. Really? Mm -hmm. Can I get like three for sixty? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so they're available right now. Right now, yes. Okay, that's cool. We, I didn't order that many. I just wanted to try them for this. The this first is a time. test drive. The test drive. Okay. Well, but very good. They are really nice. All right. I have one on. It says no. Oh, I see that. Okay. No one, no one fights alone. No one fights alone. Mm -hmm. It's got the flag on the sleeve. In other flag words, that's pretty sleeve. good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Looks like a good quality shirt. It's very nice. Heather okay. Gray. Very Heather soft. Gray. Will not shrink. I was thinking it was Heather Gray. I thought that's exactly the color I thought of. <laughs> Heather Gray. All right. So anything else we need to know? Um, we are still asking for sponsorships. Oh, okay. So you have different levels. Different levels. We start at $250 and we go up. Okay. All right. um, you can go to SchaeferFoundation.com if you would like to just donate. Oh, you're allowed to do that? Yes, you can. Is there any limit you there won't is, take? There's no limit and okay. it is through Delaware Gives, so it's all tax deductible. Oh, okay. Very and then good. tickets are on sale now for $10. $10 children, to get you into the event. Children 12 and under are free. Okay. All first responders are free. Okay. Of course. Um, and then, yeah, you... There's no vendor spots left. We have no vendor spots, but we If are, you buy a sponsorship. Yes, we will have Make that. room. Yes. You'll make the field bigger. Yes, we sold out of vendor spots probably in a Quickly. month. Quickly. Wow. Mm -hmm. The other thing is auction. When's the auction? So we're going to have a time frame for everyone to see. We're going to actually have a map at the front of the entrance oh, okay. and a QR code where you'll know when all the times happen. When the bands play, when the okay. live auction happens, when the canine demos. We'll try to figure that one out. Okay. Um, that might just depend on how many we have. Right. Um, but yeah, the car show. Oh, the car show. Car show is going to be there. How many cars are we talking? Fifty. As many as we can get on the field. Really? So people can sign up for the car they show. Can sign, they can register their car for twenty dollars. First responders' cars are ten. Okay. 
and that is you'll see that on the rally for our first responder Facebook page so if anyone and everyone has not liked that page do please it. do so rally for our first responders. Is there any charge to like the page? There's no charge but Free. we're trying to get as many people to like the page as possible. So what's our goal for the day? We want another hundred? I'll take a hundred. Okay. I'll take a thousand. Would you really? Yeah. Okay. So if you haven't liked the Facebook page for rally for our first responders do it now. Just that simple. Do it now. Can I have you back on again in a few minutes? Absolutely. Will you mind staying a little bit longer? Sure. Would love to. Okay, I have a whole series of questions. Oh, gosh. Okay? I'm no, scared. I'm just messing. <laughs> I make it up as I go. I'm not as professional as I look. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to take a break, and then I'll have you all come back in a few minutes. Okay. Thank you very much. Don't go nowhere. I mean, you can go somewhere. I just meant don't leave the property. All right, so anyway, Jim Weller here, and we've got more, more, more. Um, that we're going to talk about here, but I want to tell you the rally for our first responders is a must attend event. It's a lot of fun, a lot of things to see. It's a big open field. You're going to see your friends, your neighbors, and um, it's just really, 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 really cool. So I want to brag on Chick-fil-A just real quick, and if you can squeeze Kevin Short in for just a minute, okay? Chick-fil-A is uh, another sponsor of the show, and we say thank you to Chick-fil-A, whether you want breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or you're just looking for a gift for somebody, just get them a Chick-fil-A gift card. Um, good company. We appreciate their support. Uh, and um, we say thanks a lot for them sponsoring the show. They are a sponsor of the show. So Kevin Short is here. I haven't seen him in a couple weeks. He's been jetting all across the country and doing all kinds of things. Kevin, how are you? I'm well. Good. Well, I appreciate you coming on, and I appreciate your uh, involvement in the show. And we have to take a picture okay. right there. All righty. All right, so the next thing is you're wearing a hat. What does this hat say? Oh, it says Sewing Down South. Sewing Down South. Yeah, oh, you I, went to a sewing convention. I, no, I did not. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, my wife drug me into the store, so I just wore this hat. Oh, really? Yeah. Drug you into the yeah, store. She did. <laughs> okay. Kicking and screaming. What, it was a sewing store? Yeah. Oh, I see it is. Yeah. Debbie's into sewing? Mm, she's into pillows. Oh, pillows. Yeah. I could see that. So. Mm hmm To drown out the noise. <laughs> pillows. All right. Yeah. All right. So you've been on a trip. You yeah, went to a sewing a convention couple. for no, Debbie. No, we did not. <laughs> we went, okay. just went away just for a few days for vacation. So. Okay. All right. Had did you miss time. me while you were going? I did. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. We came up. We talked about you. Oh, wait. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. Everybody talks about me. Oh, my gosh. You know, no. we are one of the few radio stations that, in, that not only does radio, Yes. But we also sell trailers. That's right. And have magici magicians. That's right. So, <laughs> I'll no. explain that to you later. Uh, that's an inside. <laughs> that's an industry joke, everybody. So you were at Old Salty's yesterday. Oh, yeah. You've been there? Well, years ago. Okay. When I, for, when I was playing with a band called Cruising Gold. We played... We played at Old Salty's in the in the in the school in the gymnasium. The part roller of that. skating rink. Well, well yeah, we, it was the, yeah, it was, and it was also a gymnasium. Um, we played there like once every six weeks. Really? So yeah, it was we were we were regular. That's why it's so famous. It was it because was just starting it. as a restaurant then. Really? And, uh, but yeah, everybody on the island came out, no so kidding. they could fill it. You know, and it's a great restaurant. Well, yeah, it was. It uh, was. Those were good dances, so it was cool. We had a good time. Are you a dancer? I no, no. Okay. I'm a musician. I, okay. You know, I, just checking. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't know if you out there. I cutting provide the, the music. Yeah. Okay. I do all the dancing. That's, all right. So, what's your weekend consist like of? To, if you'd like to dance, I'd be happy to play. <laughs> You, know? you mean like right now? Right now, yeah. I could actually pull something up on my phone. Listen, I'm no, going to get just... bit by a dog, tased, and now I'm going to dance. A lot of firsts coming up for Jim Weller. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I, I... No, I forgot what I was saying. I, I just said, what, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, this weekend, um, well, I'm, I'm going to go to the office here. In a okay. second. We've got a lot going on. Because uh... you haven't worked in a few days. I, we took just a couple of days off, but we got cruise today in West Virginia. We're doing a... We're doing a big fish fry in in Morgantown, West Virginia, which was supposed to be with Pete Rose, but he's in the hospital. So that's oh, I don't my. know I don't know actually who took his place. But okay, they're doing that. We're at Southern uh, New Hampshire University today in New Hampshire, so that's going on. We've got the there's a 5K run in Salisbury this morning. All right, so there's a lot going on. I want to go to the office and kind of deal with some of that. And, but um, it's becoming that, that time of year. 
busy. Yes. So you sang a song one time that time of year. Yeah, yeah. But for a whole different reason. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what are you doing? What's going? What's um, today? I'm going to meet are with you somebody. Really going to Blobfest? Or, or I don't know. Have you been? No. Oh, no. Okay. No. Denise said it's up to me, so I don't know if we're going to Blobfest or not. We might. I can't see that. Well, you never it's know. My eyes. And we have I actually been known to go somewhere <laughs> and turn around and leave. So, okay. um, we went to the movies recently where we did that. We what sat movie through all. Were you seeing? I saw you Ghostbusters. Yeah, I Ghostbusters. You didn't stay? Ten minutes in. Really? We're out of there. Just didn't like it? Well, we after we watched 20 minutes of things about other movies. Yeah. And we got all the popcorn with butter on it. Eat, eight. Uh-huh. We're down to the bottom of the thing. We thought, <laughs> we're just going to go. Okay. So we left. And you've busted enough ghost. Right. Yeah. 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 Then we went to Going Nuts. You ever been there? I have. Yeah. Oh, we love it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we do a show in Salisbury called Rock and Roll Revival, and that's kind of like where they hang out. So the oh, cast, really? The cast goes there every night. Yeah. You know? Okay, so if I drop your name there, they would know it. They wouldn't know me. They would oh, know okay. the guys that work for me. The guys, okay. Yeah. All right. But they, we, a guy that used to work for me is now passed on, a guy named Mike Taylor, held court there every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. There's wow. pictures of him on the wall. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, well, good. Yep. All right, so. well, I'm going to thank you for joining me. Well, I'm glad you're... Uh, I'm glad you're here today. I cool. am too. We've got a lot of people um, coming and going anymore. It's amazing. Cool. You know, I mean, it's really been a good, a good thing. Yep. A good thing, and you not to mention the day. food is fantastic. It's busy. It is. It's a lot going on. All right. All right. Well, take care, Kevin. Well, have a good day. Yeah. Thanks I'll for stopping around. by. All right. Cool. Okay. See, See ya. ya. All right. That's Kevin Short, everybody. All right. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I want to brag on my accountant, George Luff, Luff and Associates. All right. And they are in Milford, Dover and Rehoboth. This is a sponsor segment. If you haven't not done your taxes yet, you better get on with it. Okay. It's time. So if you need any tax help or anything like that, um, I just want you to know that uh, they'll take care of you. Uh, they got three locations. They've been in business a long time. I'm very happy with them. They help me also with my payroll, with an easy payroll system. So if you need anything from accounting to help with your payroll, they can help your business in any way, shape, or form. Just give them a call. It's 302-422-9699. That's LuffCPAs.com on the web. And uh, George and his son Tyler and the whole team of people at Luff and Associates have done a great job for me year after year after year. So if you need any help, with your tax return or your accounting or, or payroll, give Luffs a call, all right? What else is going on? We're sitting right here. We're going to have the colonel of the state police back on again, Melissa Zebley. We're also going to have Kyle Schaefer on. We're going to be talking about rally for our first responders. Um, we're going to have Rob, the owner, the owner of the restaurant is also going to be coming on a lot of things going on today we talked about bounce for autism and uh just different things um i do want to talk real quick if i could if i could if i could nope i hear the music so we're taking a break from delaware 105.9 if you are listening on 105.9 switch over to my facebook page right now i don't want you to miss a thing all right, Colin Walls is going to join me, and we are going to chit-chat about Fine Day Radio. Fine Day Radio, 102.3 WNJD, and we want to say thank you to all of our people that bought advertising packages. In other words, uh, we really, really do appreciate them, and we say thank you, and we've had people commenting that they got phone calls, and uh, they have had people reach out to them, and it's been nice. Yes. Because we really didn't know how anything was going to work, and it's all worked a whole lot better than we anticipated. So everybody wins. Everybody wins. Uh, If you want to advertise and you like to be on or be involved, we could use your support. We'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do sell trailers, and once in a while we do magic. So anyway, I just want to let you know, just give me a call at 302-542-9157. The magic you don't think I can do scene. magic, do you? The magic is behind the scenes. The yes. magic yeah. is behind the right. scenes. It's when everything works, it's magic. So anyway. So you think that somebody being, that, that was specific enough that that was talking about you and probably Dan Gaffney? Yes. Okay. But I'm taking it as a compliment. Jake, we appreciate you very much. And we thank you, other disc jockeys or radio personalities supporting Fine Day Radio. And mentioning us on your radio station. And mentioning us. You know, and it's like a little mystery game. In other words, you said enough that people called me and then then told me who and what 
And so I thought, how honoring but can you, that be? But you were wondering, was it a compliment or were they... I think it's they, all in how you receive it. Okay. So yeah. I'm receiving it as a, as compliment. a compliment. All right. Well, if good. selling trailers is, a, is something that has to be talked about, it's not a secret any longer. Now you've said it. I've said it. Yes, I sell trailers. Okay, you got me there. Okay, right. <laughs> you got me. Boy, boy, you yeah. are one of the sharpest radio personalities yeah. out there. That really upsets you to to mention that you, you sell, sell trailers, trailers, right? On another radio I think station. the point was <laughs> that their radio station does not have to sell trailers to survive. Oh, okay. And that we have to sell trailers to survive. Okay. No, okay. We don't actually. But I want to say this. Thank you for the publicity either way. Right. But we appreciate that. But, you know, our radio station actually is kind of funded by, <laughs> by, by dwellers and you and me. No, it's and actually funded by the, the advertisers. Oh, yeah. We don't want to brag. But, yeah, we've been profitable since day one. <laughs> we have. We don't want to so brag. But, I mean, that, yeah, how many so businesses start right out with enough advertising to, to yeah, get it done? Yeah, so. It, yeah, I mean, and it's not being funded by our business. Anybody, yeah. right? So it's 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 actually uh, self sustaining. So uh, we're mm-hmm. we're kind of proud of that. You know, we're not bragging or we're not saying no anything. We like wouldn't that. even know but, how to brag if we had to. But <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So Thank it's, you. It, we want to. I mean, that's a, that's a testament to our sponsors. You know that they came on board. You know, and and I would we say had, took a we had people wanting to pay for a whole year in advance. Yeah, I yeah. said. Gosh, you don't even know if we're going to be worth it. He said, well, if I give you enough time, I said, well, pay for 10 years in advance. He said, don't worry. I'll ask for my money back. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are very, very fortunate. We are. We sure. are very, yeah. very fortunate, okay? Yeah, and, uh, and, and we bought a new transmitter. Oh, we did? Uh, so we were able to buy yep. a new transmitter. And just the fun Wait, of... Wait you see this new van we bought. Oh, my oh, gosh. you're going to be able to tell how much money we spent on this. There's no <laughs> doubt. This thing... I noticed you got one special wheel on the driver's side front. Oh, no, the, the regular ones are all... Oh, just darn. I thought that was a... So, it, you know, when we make a left-hand turn, it you they, know it gives us the tilt got we got that need. little smaller wheel on right, there. Yeah, yep. the right stagger. Yeah, that's right. I thought, yeah. I thought we were going down the <laughs> no. stock car track. Yeah, so we got a van. We're getting it lettered. We Roger did. Signs is going to letter it. Lynn yeah. Rogers and his team. Mm-hmm. They're going to work night and day diligently. That's right. I don't yep. know. I don't know if it's going to be done in time or not. We're just. But we're hoping it's. T- we're putting done in the time pressure on the them. Bug and Bud Festival. Bug and Bud on Festival. April. Now 27th. we'd love for it to be done by the 18th <laughs> <laughs> of April. Wait, of we April. Tell them we want it for Wednesday yeah. show. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> so we're excited. We're putting our business name on there. We're putting the radio station yep. on there. It's unbelievable. We're trying to get ourselves a two-digit tag. Uh, we're looking for a sponsor of that. If there's anybody out there that has a low-digit tag that they want us to, to, to put on our van for you, let us I, know, okay? I thought the van came with the tag that was on it. It was a three-digit oh. RV tag. That was oh, on it. oh, oh, oh. No, not that one. With that I, tag, that's yeah. That's what I thought, yeah. Mm. Yeah. All, all right. Mean, so what else? But but anyway, yeah, so this van is going to be lettered and all that. And we're going to have, you know, our, our radio station logo on there. We're going to have the walls and Wall Service Center and Weller's Utility yep. Trailers logos Because on we there. sell trailers. We're going to have, you know, a picture of some of the people that are on the station, you know, our, our uh, hosts that are on there. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. yeah, it's going to, I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look real I'm good. excited about it. So. I am too. Yep, we just got to get them doors fixed so they open. Oh, yeah. And close. <laughs> we can get them open. <laughs> it's the closing that we're the problem with. Yeah. <laughs> Shutting the doors. Well, the close the actually. It's the staying closed part. Oh, uh, was that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the staying closed. All right. So well, I found that when you want to close a car door, you kind of want it to stay closed. When oh, driving. that's a good point. Yeah, especially when you're hauling children or equipment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Either gosh. or. So. What do you think of today's crowd? Uh, it's a good crowd. Yeah. It's a good, good crowd. crowd. Yep. I see Terry all, from Seaford is yep, joining us over here. They're all well behaved. Apologize to Terry. He tried to come over and talk to me, but I was right in the middle of trying oh, to fix okay. stuff. And I, I, you were testy. Yeah, I wasn't testy. I was just uh, maybe short. Sure. And I've never Even been accused of being short before. Oh, really? Yeah. I have. You have? You? <laughs> oh, they they got takeouts and everything. They're all done, ready to oh, go. Yeah. Wow. Did Jim load them up with a? Jim, did you? Oh, I see them. I was just getting ready to say, did they have stickers? They loaded them right up. That's right. All right. Good. Very good. Good. So anyway, um, Jonathan, there's a Durango out there. I wonder if he'll put one of those stickers on that Durango. I would, Jim. I'd put one on that Denali too. That black one. Oh yeah. (laughs) Okay. Yep. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, how you doing this morning? Good. I I tell you, the crowd is just really kind of amazing because we 
We are here. At, oh, we're for hire. I got to remind you, we need a place to go after May 18th. So we okay? need a Saturday. We need a Saturday venue. location to take this Seven show. Seven to nine. Yeah, we, we need, need to, to be, be there, there at six. By about six o'clock to be able yep. to be in to get our equipment set oh, up. Oh, I hear it now. So, okay. uh, yeah, we are looking. So yeah. For a new home. Yeah, yeah, for okay. Saturday. So. Yep. All right. Call I'm me. Excited. I excited. Love, I love going to new places. Okay. 302 542 9157. If you have any questions, call Jim Weller. That's right. All right. I'll see you, see Jim. You, see you. My last spot for the Okay. Day. Thank you. Colin Walls, Walls Service Center. All right. Here we go. Another sponsor segment is Top Flight Heating and Air. Ryan Brower. Call flight. Call topflight.com. Listen, they've still got that tune up special going on until April 15th. $99. So if you want to get your air conditioner system tuned up, make sure. Everything is working in tip-top shape. Give Ryan a call, all right? So if you need anything in the heating, air conditioning, or maybe you want a new tankless hot water heater system, whatever you may need done, repairs, maintenance, and upgrade, you're building an addition, or whatever, or you just bought a property and you want to have everything checked out, or you got some rentals and you want to get on the maintenance agreement, whatever you want to do, <clears throat> it's Call Top Flight. You can go to calltopflight.com. And schedule your appointment right there. You can call them on the telephone, 302-329-8003. Tell them Jim Weller sent you. But ask about that $99 tune-up special for your air conditioning system. It expires April fifteenth, 2024. You snooze, you lose. Get right on with that. That way it will help with your energy cost if everything is operating efficiently. efficiently. Hey, how are you? Great, sir. How are you? Picture time. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, how's the t-shirt right. sales going? Pretty well, pretty well. Pretty I just well? thought I'd bring it out, and I don't know how well you got to see it last time. Oh, that is very right. nice. I like the quality of it. It's a nice quality shirt. Thank you, thank you. Can you get that, Linda? Yeah. Okay. Right nice there. quality shirt. Okay, printed. 100% cotton. I like that it has a pocket. Yeah, we okay. find those useful. Right, Especially when you, you're trying to have, have too many things in your hands running right. around. Twenty-five dollars, right? Twenty-five. Even. No That's sales right. tax. Zero sales tax. All right. And here uh, in Dewey Beach. What sizes you got? Well, I've actually sold out of double X. Have you really? And XL. Isn't so that amazing? It's it's wild. Mm -hmm. It's 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 they're wild. Just, they're, <laughs> they're selling like hotcakes. They're selling uh, like hotcakes. All right. Speaking of hotcakes, how's sales been? How's the food industry going? Food industry is good. Uh, I'm hearing from a lot of people in town. Um, this week has been kind of a, an anomaly. When we have Easter kind of early in the year, it tends to be a little slower on uh, on people okay, here. But it's not um, been that way. It's been well. Sunday was that way for us okay. here, and I think okay. a lot of town, unfortunately. Yeah. But okay. we're looking forward to a good season, especially now the weather is getting better. Oh, yeah. Right. But We've Saturday had, is always great in here. It is. It's amazing. I'm just it's amazed great. how many people yeah. we draw and. And, and how it is. So We uh, must be doing something right on Saturdays. We must be. I don't know. No doubt. Hey, you're open on Friday nights and Saturday nights. You yes, open indeed. at 9 o'clock till 3 in the morning. You've got it. In How's addition to our regular hours. In addition right. to your regular hours. Yes, indeed. I wrote all so your well hours well. down here. So oh, Wednesday great. through Friday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. You've got it. Friday right. and Saturday, 9 p.m. To 3, to 3 a.m., and that's not a misprint. You really are open, and it's that's for people that right. work late or are out for the night sure. or first responders or whatever. A hundred percent. Absolutely. We've got a lot of hospital workers around the area, okay. too. Good we're thinking. here for them. Yep. Um, and on your notes, I see you noted we're closed on Tuesday. Yes. We're actually going to start opening Tuesdays, likely this week. Okay. We're going to see how it goes. Okay. But well, it's, it's about time to start being it's open about seven time. days. Seven so. days a week. You know. All right, take in, dine out. Do you have gift cards too? Uh, I have gift certificates. Gift certificates. But I don't have any Same gift, thing. gift okay. cards yet. No. All right. No. Well, no problem. So, well, but, yeah. we appreciate you having us. Our last I day here is May coming. 18th, isn't it? Oh yeah. Okay. But we've got plenty of time. That's plenty of time between now and May 18th. <laughs> okay. No problem at all. Well, we thank you very much. T-shirt sales are good. Twenty five dollars. Get yours today. Be a little collector's item, you know. Certainly. In other words, early all Christmas right. gift. Early Christmas gift. Rob, thank you. thank you. That was Rob, owner operator. Ra owner operator. All right. What else we got going on here? Integrity Pest Solutions, no doubt. This is our pest solution people. So if you have any pests, I don't mean pet, pets, I mean pests like uh, termites or ants or stink bugs or anything like that, spiders, crickets, give Keith a call. Integrity Pest Solutions does a great job, been in business a long time, he's licensed, he's insured, he's an owner-operator. He will arrive, 
He will answer the phone. If he doesn't answer the phone, he'll call you back and he'll do you a good job. So his name is Keith Ruark. Keith Ruark, Integrity Pest Solutions. Been around a long time. You can check them out on the web. You can also look them up on Facebook and like their page. It's Integrity Pest Solutions. 302 858 8629 302-858-8629. Dial it in that order. IntegrityPestSolutions.com on the web and uh, also on the Facebook, okay? Really good guy, very knowledgeable, and uh, knows his stuff and does a good job, okay? All right, so what else is going on? Um, we've got more guests sitting down now. And uh, we talked about Integrity Pest Solutions. And like his Facebook page, too, if you would. Do you need me to move or do anything, Colin? No, you're good. Man. All right. So now we have Kyle Schaefer back and the colonel of the state police, um, Melissa Zebley. So we're going to take another picture up here now. It's a whole different pose. Let me take my glasses off. It makes me look younger. Okay. Um, I got a text from a guy named Lewis Briggs. He just wants everybody to know he is watching. Okay? That's a good man right there. It is. Yes. It is. Um, yeah. Oh, no, okay. there'll be none of that. <laughs> no overtime? No overtime for watching. <laughs> well, that's a good point. No overtime for watching. All right, anyway. Right, it should be a benefit of watching. Yes, you know, sir. it should be relaxing to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we're talking about the rally for our first responders. So, if you didn't hear the first segment, uh, this is a big rally. It's June 1st. You're sticking June to that, right? June 1st. June 1st. That's a Saturday. Saturday, 12 to 6. 12 to 6. Okay. Gates open at 1130. 1130. Free parking? Free parking. Free Tickets are $10 a piece. $10 a piece. Children 12 and under are free. Really? 12 and under is free? Yes. Now, how are you getting away with that? <laughs> I get to make the rules. Oh, okay. All right. So, but I'm encouraging people that are listening or watching to buy some tickets now and give them away. Sure. Maybe they have a business. Maybe Absolutely. they have employees. Maybe they have customers. Maybe they just have family members and maybe they're not going to be able to make it. Right. But they could give these. Is the ticket like a wristband? It's a wristband, yes. Okay. All right. And then um, then it's a donation. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. The so, money all goes back to the first responders. So you're giving all this yes. money right back to the first responders. Okay. Yes, we're raising money just to donate it all back. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So collectively you're raising yes. it so you can individually give it out. Yes, to okay. all of our beneficiaries, which, of course, one of them is Camp Barnes. Camp Barnes. Yes. Oh, very so we're, good. So we're very uh, proud to be one of the many event beneficiaries. And anyone who uh, looks the rally up, as I know all your listeners will, We'll see, you know, fire, police, crime stoppers, concerns of police survivors, but among them is Camp Barnes, something that is near and dear to every Delaware State Trooper, regardless of when you have served. The camp is now entering its 76th year of existence. Isn't that amazing? And uh, host kids at a camp for free down here in Sussex County uh, over the course of six weeks in the summer. A hundred kid, approximately a hundred children each week, and oh, it focuses wow. on developing leadership skills, problem solving, and, and confidence building. So it's it's a phenomenal camp that we're tremendously proud of. And it teaches them how to play well with others. It does, <laughs> and, it, and, I mean? the, and it teaches them a lot about what we do as first responders. Uh, they learn about what a Delo the life of a Delaware State Trooper, and we really believe uh, wherever their, their life path takes them, perhaps, to, into becoming a Delaware State right. Trooper, but they will be more successful for the, the skills they develop uh, during our one-week experience. The state police is always looking for people to consider being a state trooper. Yes, we are. The process is they apply, is that right? They do, and it's, I would estimate it to be around five to six months of a process, and, it's, and, and okay. as it should be, um, it's, it's a uh, demanding work, um, and we certainly want to have the right people in those seats um, to serve the community in the best way possible. So yeah, you go through a litany of testing uh, to ultimately be selected, and then you sit th uh, through our five-month residential training academy in Dover. And the academy, they literally stay there all week long. They do. They go home on the weekends, but they, they reside there Monday through Friday. We're the only residential academy in the state. I think it's neat because that way you can see how they act in the morning. You know what I mean? In other words, you know when people wake up. Sometimes they're grumpy, sometimes they're not. But this way you can just see how people really, truly start their day. Well, and I, I think them, it indoctrinates thing. them into the lifestyle that, it, you know, you, you're... 
perpetually on call at times right. and, and always you know as a first responder right which is what we're here to talk about always necessary at a moment's notice so I think it prepares them for that lifestyle right. I think it's a great thing um, I was in the Citizens Police Academy one time and I went up there and got to see and as I'm walking through I'm like I know this person I know this person this I was like I know all these people that were getting ready to be state troopers well I guess at that yeah. point they are a state trooper in other words you yes. know going through the Academy correct and um, all that physical stuff and um, it was really good it good. was really good. good. Everything was squared away. Even their bunks were made. It just everything was very organized. Just like you know, I've done ride-alongs before. Their cars are very organized, right down to the first aid kit, and just everything being prepared all the time. Prepared, prepared, and prepare some more. In other words, because I think chaos comes without notice. It's a, it often does, and that's why you know we uh, we emphasize the details and in. in everything that we do and everything that you just mentioned and mm -hmm. uh you know walking that all the way back even to the camp that's that's part of what we teach the kids at a young age right. i think oftentimes you know when when they get off the bus at the end of the week their parents are <laughs> they're grateful to see their parents and their parents are grateful for maybe some of those life skills that they can now apply yes going home being a bit yes. more detail oriented in school and a bit more uh, attention to detail in the home front too. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good thing because I think if you if you teach those things and you start them first thing in the morning, at the end of the day, before you know it, you become a little more accomplished than if everything is just happen hap haphazardly. You know, if you have if you have a plan and you work the plan, at the end of the day, the plan usually works. And I think that's an important thing. So especially if they were going to be an employee of mine or something you know they're coming out of the camp you know and as they grow up and stuff that structure and that you know that organization is a good thing yeah and so. we always want them to rely on training and any stress yeah. related event so that's that's where it's always it's most beneficial so anyway um did you have any more you wanted to say about the rally so you are you looking for auction items sure live so, auction items so if somebody had mm -hmm. you know what uh, a license plate a, a, oh, a license. <laughs> Listen. A license plate. I want to say something. I heard. How many license plates do you have, Jim? I'm getting rid of them, but I want to tell you, I heard four of those tags brought five thousand dollars twice recently at an auction. Wow. wow. Those tags, those uh, state police yeah. commemorative tags. So I need to figure out how to get some more. Is what I need to do. <laughs> but anyway, that would be a good idea. It would be. Okay. Yes. Here's another idea. You take a little thermos or a cooler, and you put some money in it. And then you pass it out through the crowd and you encourage them to put some money in it. And then you auction that and off. And then you auction that off. I've done that once. Right. Have you really? It was really okay. good. It was really good. All right. So what else? Anything so else? So you need some auction items. Yep. It's June 1st. Mark your calendar. Set a reminder in your phone. Don't miss it. And we okay? need sponsorships. Sponsorships. Sell some tickets. Sponsorships. You can donate at SchaeferFoundation.com. Okay. Um, if you own a home and you want to donate a week to stay at it if it's somewhere, you know, like yeah, a vacation type thing or That's, something like yep. that. We have one home in uh, Rehoboth Beach. I'm going to try to get donated. you a helicopter ride donated. Okay. Okay. I know somebody has a couple of them. Okay. So I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him. Okay. All right. Or maybe in a plane. In other words, a plane. Okay. Do you have any of them? A helicopter ride, not. a plane ride? Not. Okay. All right. Um, what else? I, I just think it's important for everyone to know, too, that the money that we do raise really it just goes right back to our beneficiaries Correct. and we have 12 especially camp barn since we are talking about it i've donated ten thousand dollars in the past two years to oh, camp really? barns and i think Thank it's you. important that everyone knows how that helped camp barns right it, it's really allowed us to modernize the camp uh to you know keep the pump house for the pool moving right. you can't have a camp with kids without a, right. without a without a pool so it's really allowed us to modernize the facility in the way that it's needed since it is 76 years old now so and you don't charge for people to go it there it is a free camp so right this is what it like takes that is is tremendously generous right of kyle and the foundation so we're deeply yeah. grateful well good and, and they already sold out of for 2024 it, they All go right. in an hour really yes wow yes. okay how many kids are we talking about a hundred kids a week for six weeks that sounds so like 600 a, yes, sir <laughs> so but we also have counselors so oh, high school and college wow. age folks so again we're and, and we've recently developed a counselor and training program because the the young kids who go through the camp from 10 to 13 and want to come back and be a counselor someday they want that pathway so we've created that oh, and they can be a counselor in training okay. so we really are uh, working to you know across the spectrum of ages uh, wow. from a 10 year old to a college age person to uh, develop these life skills and and help them be successful 
Good. All right. I think we're about done. I did have some other questions, but I'll have to do it another time. I want, I want to know what's it been like being a female, becoming a state trooper. I have to believe that you've seen changes along the years. I bet. I, I certainly have. It's, Was it easy? I don't think it's easy for any of us. Okay, frankly. so it's not easy I, for I, anybody. It's not okay. uh, gender specific that okay. it's not easy, um, but it's tremendously rewarding and abundantly worthwhile. So uh, I, I'm, I'm grateful, yes, there's been an evolution, but I think there's been an evolution in the multitude of ways in which we serve. I often okay. say, you know, law, being a trooper is about far more than law enforcement. Um, right. We, we do You're so much more than that. And, <laughs> Uh, a lifesaver and all right. that. So that that evolution has been a joy to witness. Um, but I think you know, for women that want to join this profession, there's never been a better time. Okay. So you can look to any any corner of our agency, and you will find a woman who has accomplished a first. Whether wow. that's flying the helicopter, riding a motor, uh, all the way up to serving as the superintendent. Wow. It's all available to you, and there's never been a better time. Right. So the future is open. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So people, you're, you'll probably have like a little table at this event on June 1st. Recruiting, is that right? We certainly will. Okay. Yes. All right. Always looking. Yes. You're always hiring. Always hiring. Yes. Okay. And hopefully any, some folks that day. So is there any final sales pitch you would give <laughs> to encourage somebody to be a Delaware State Trooper? I, can t I say it to the folks all the time. There's no better way to spend your life. Okay. Than service. Than service. No better way. Specifically, you know, as as a Delawarean myself, this is a wonderful state, um, and it's it's amazing to invest your professional life, and certainly your family walks that journey with you. Um, but it is, I'm abundantly proud to, you know, wear two names on this this uniform shirt every day. My family's last name and the agency that that hired me 32 years ago. Yeah. And did it's been a joy. Have a family member that was a state trooper. I did not. My okay. my grandfathers were one was a city fireman and one was a city policeman. So Still I come from a family of service. Yeah. Um, and uh, obviously with the love and care of two amazing parents, uh, found myself here. So I'm very yeah, good. I'm a grateful woman. Proud of you. Good Thank job. You. I appreciate it. Good job. All right. Anything else? I think we're good. You guys have Everything done a great, great job. Rally okay. for first responders. I'm June first. Like it. What was June that now? Like the page. June first. first. I'm going to give you both a keychain. Oh. Is that all right? Thank you. Okay. There's one for her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you both. Thank you. And thank you, I'll sir. see you sometime. Okay. Yep. June right. first. June first. Okay. <laughs> if not before. All right. I'll see you. Okay. Next. Next. Next is let's talk power washing. Power washing. Power washing. Everybody. All right, this is Donnie Donovan. Donnie Donovan, and it's Blue Wave Power Washing. You've heard me talk about him before. I'm talking about him again. It's time. It's time to get the green slime off your deck, off your house, um, off your sidewalk, or whatever. So if you need some power washing done, give Donnie a call. He does power washing. He does soft washing. Whatever you need done, it is Blue Wave Power Washing. He's a owner-operator, so when you call, you're going to get him. When he comes out, he's going to be involved, and he does a good job. And we got a little special for you today, just today. So if you give him a call and uh, say, hey, I heard about you on Jim Weller's show or from Jim Weller. I don't even know. Every job is different because it's based on the size square footage, but he will give you a $25 discount. So, you know, if you got a $200 job or a $500 job, he will give you a $25 discount. If you give him a call, maybe call him today and say, hey, I heard about you on Jim's show. I'd like you to give me an estimate what it would be to, you know, clean my house, maybe clean my sidewalk. We had him clean our pavers and uh, we got a big millstone out there. He cleaned that. He cleaned the he cleaned our um, swing set, a uh, little bit of everything, some of our outbuildings and so on. So I've been very happy with him. You will be too. I've dealt with him on numerous projects. So his name is Donnie Donovan. It's Blue Wave Power Washing. You can look him up on Facebook. You can look him up on uh, the Internet. So anyway, what in the world is his phone number? It's 302-853-0968. That's 302 853 O nine six eight. Okay, dial it in that order, and uh, Blue Wave Power Wash. Look it up on the Facebook too, if you would. And remember, mention Jim Weller or Weller Does Del Marva, and you will get a twenty five dollar discount on your first job. Okay. All right. What else is going on? Uh, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. I'll take the kids if you want to get them over here real quick. 
All right, we're going to chat with a couple kids that are in the audience. Real quick, we're going to talk about Bounce for Autism. Bounce for Autism, that is today, starting at noon. It's a big uh, uh, family fun day at Tony's Pizza in Bridgeville, raising money for autism. $8 a person, you get a wristband, and it's good from noon, noon until 5 o'clock. You need to wake up there, young man. All right, so we're sitting here inside, inside the Sunrise Restaurant, and these two kids just happen to come with their mom mom and pop up. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Talk right into that thing. How are you doing? Good. You look tired. I am tired. You am tired? You been working all night? No, we went to see the new movie, Kung Fu Panda. Oh, Kung Fu Panda. Okay, who'd you go with? Uh, my grandma. Oh, She's into that kung fu stuff. <laughs> She's yes. short. All right, we're going to take a picture right here. Turn that way. Smile pretty. Okay, good. All right, so you went to the movies. Yes. Okay, were you well behaved? Yes. Oh, my gosh, you weren't? So. I guess so. Okay. What's your name, young lady? Swayze. And how's Swayze doing? Good. Good? Did you go to the movie? Mm -hmm. All right, and what's your name? Tell everybody your name. You. Tell them your name. Jace. Jace, okay. Jace, you can barely stay awake here today. Yep. Pay attention. All right, did you have breakfast yet? Yes. What was it? Pancakes and bacon. All right, and how about you, Swayze? Um, I had one chocolate chip pancake. How was it? Good. It was big, wasn't it? Was one enough? Yeah. Okay, good. And so, are you going to get some rest today, or you got house cleaning to do? Oh, you probably got grass to cut. We don't have lawnmower. Oh, okay. Well, you can use scissors. <laughs> That's going to take like three weeks or That's something. That's okay. We'll just do it one day at a time. All right. Anything else going on with you two? Uh, oh, okay. Yes, uh, yeah. Camp Barnes is sold out. Yep. Okay. Yep, you snooze, you lose. That's what they say. You snooze, you lose. All right, well, I thank you both for coming, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, take care of yourself, all right? See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Yep, bye-bye. All right, so other than that, we're here. We're in the last minute or so of the show, and we are at the Sunrise Restaurant in Dewey Beach, Delaware. And we say thank you to everybody that has came in. It's been a real good show. We've had numerous people on the show. Linda's doing a great job over there keeping things straight. Everybody's pretty well behaved. Is that Jay Dentino? Is that Jay? Okay, just checking. Jay, good morning. He got a haircut since last week. Okay, he wants to emulate me. All right. Okay, high and tight. Yep. Yep. When you go to the, when I go to the, uh, well, Denise cuts my hair. It's like a search and rescue. <laughs> Where she's like, where's the hair that you want cut? Uh, she does a great job, though. Been doing it for years, haven't you? Yep. She's like, I wouldn't mind if you just didn't ever have to cut. It'd be down in my eyes. All right. So what else is going on? The sun is shining. And we'll take that, everybody. We will take that sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. We are going to uh, take a road trip tomorrow. We're going to Wildwood, New Jersey. We're going to ride the ferry, and then we're going to go from there, okay? So today I have a meeting at about 9.30, quarter of 10. I got another meeting in the afternoon. I'm buying another property, everybody. So here we go. Two down, two down. So anyway, um, I want to say thanks to all the people that have been on the show. There's a lot of events today. There is the Bounce for Autism at Tony's Pizza. There is the Easter Egg Hunt at Revelation Brewery in um, Georgetown. You can go to that first. It starts about noon, I think. Go there, and then you can make your way on over to Tony's Pizza because they've got that bounce thing going on, 15 different inflatables, um, all the way up till 5 o'clock today, and it's only $8, and you can bounce all you want. I think Kevin Short's thinking about going over there. I'd like to see Kevin Short in a bounce house. I think it would be cool. It would cost me. I can see it. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are done on Delaware 105.9. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Jim Weller here, and we will be back next Saturday. 15 seconds. All right. Now we're on uh, Fine Day Radio and TV Del Mar. But thank you, everybody. I got two audiences going on at once. We appreciate you. Share this show as soon as it's over on Facebook. Share it. God bless you. Have a good weekend. We will see you Wednesday.